everyone, welcome to The Reset 6. We are going into top 8 of Super Smash Bros. Yes. Ultimate right now. <coughs> I hope you all at home are ready. Tell your grandparents, tell your friends to watch. <coughs> um, of course, I'm here, Bubbles Gaming, Ogre Fox, joined by Arctic Gaming, Danger, Danger Noodle. And we are looking forward to a great top 8. The first yes. match that we are going to see is going to be Mind Sanity Destiny again. Um, Elvitz, Siri Kalamari. Oh, yeah. And the classic, the Switzerland classic, yes, basically. Yes, but the thing is, they meet here at Users Top 8, and that's really special because this is something we expect <coughs> um, to be the yeah. Grand Finals. or Not Grand Finals? Losers finals because maybe? Elixir? Yeah, oh. okay, Losers. Yeah. Definitely but not Losers yes, Top 8. We didn't expect eight, one of yeah. those players to get 7th. And actually, let me just pull up the bracket real quick. <coughs> <coughs> I'll have it in a second. Uh, Smash G is so slow. <coughs> so yeah, matchup. What are you gonna see? Do you think, like, for severe calamari, it's pretty clear we're gonna see. I'm wolf. guessing the wolf. Yes. But Destiny, not so sure at the moment. I'm not, I'm not yep. sure if um, he will be picking up Wolf. And he's still Okay, so I'm not sure if um, Destiny is going to pick Wolf. Yep. Um, I think he's going to play Meta Knight. Just from okay. my guesses, because I think he... Yeah, I mean, he's basically a Meta Knight mm -hmm. main still. Yes. <coughs> and the reset is not the place to try out new things. So, um, what I am seeing is that Okay, interesting. <coughs> oh my god. Uh, Severe Calamari dropped to Ryuchi mm -hmm. in um, Winner's Quarters. Yes. And Destiny also in Winner's Quarters to someone else from Star Wars. Just we shot. Exactly. Yes. Just we shot. That was, that was funny because against Just we shot, he picked um, Little Mac in the second game because he um, got pretty much destroyed in the first one. He has deed and everything and got two stuck. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> yeah, but I think he has gained confidence again in his Meta Knight. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's... Again. It's a completely different matchup. Um, I mean, can't really compare Kirby and Wolf. Mm -hmm. um, but we have seen Destiny struggle a lot against Severe Calamari's Wolf in the mm -hmm. past with his own Meta Knight. Yeah. But now we see... <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. FD, Final is it? Oh, yeah, oh, that's, that's the wrong station. So I'll just <laughs> go ahead and tell the people to watch this. Yeah. I will do that too. Um, and we got a sudden death. <laughs> <laughs> did, they, did they actually just both drop in the same frame? <laughs> I wasn't looking. Did they just both this really <laughs> just <laughs> drop in yeah. the same frame? Stimmt so, oder? So, I'll be 100% on commentary in just a second. I'll just need to tell my grandparents and everyone I know to watch the stream. Okay, so then I will start commentating. Um, we got, yeah, now it's Final Destination. Ah, oh, maybe it was the wrong skin. Because now <laughs> Destiny went the red one oh, instead yeah. of the white one. Um, Maybe to blend in more with, with the red stage. I'm not sure about that. No, I think he always plays the red. He always plays the red. Uh huh. I think. Then down smash trying to catch the two frame of wolf. It's I think kind of hard on the wolf up to get the two frame, but it's more easier if you catch the side B of wolf. Yeah, the side B doesn't really snap to ledge. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's also very dangerous. Because it's a very, very strong hit, of course. You don't really yes. want to risk it if you don't have to. But you can profit so much. There we, say that <coughs> there we see the second grab, um, raw running grab from Severe Calamari. Just having balls to do it because it's really laggy in comparison to other moves. <coughs> yeah, but like Wolf, like if, you, if he runs at you, he basically has two options. Either he dash attacks or he grabs. Mm -hmm. And both of those are very strong options. 
uh, which you don't really want to, like, you don't want to contest the dash attack because it's such a strong hitbox. <coughs> and especially at higher percents, the grab just doesn't give him that much. Mm -hmm. So you'd ra rather get grab yes. than get dash attack. You know. And both of these characters have really safe smashes if they whip yeah. them in neutral, so and no, they mean, don't have to Mac, hold uh, back. Meta Knight really just uh, F smash. F smash, yeah. Maybe down smash, but mainly mainly the F smash. But it's very slow. Wolf's F smash similarly, but his up, sm his up smash is actually also not that safe. It's really just the F smash for both. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Queen Little, Br Little Brand butter combo gets 40%. With the forward air strings. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I think um I think a big part in this player matchup is that Sivir Kalamari has to catch those dimensional capes yes. of Destiny to Destiny punish is him. Really He's really kind of doing many dimensional the capes. The dimensional cape is kind of his he lives and dies by the dimensional cape. Mm -hmm. It's his drug but also his curse. <laughs> yes, and if we don't see Sivir Kalamari punishing them, it's a really high reward for Destiny. Yeah, but then right we see now, the next up smash. Um, he's not getting caught by... I, I mean, the first step is just not getting caught by the Dimensional Cape. Yes. And then you can start punishing it. And he's not punishing it too well so far, but he, I don't think he got hit by it even once. Yes, that's 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 okay, but he didn't get any ledge trap or disadvantage state out of it. Advantage state out of it. Finally, yeah. Destiny gets the first stock off with that F smash. 2-1 in stocks and pretty even in percentage. Yeah, that's yeah, about the only thing that was even, but Sever Calamari already pulls ahead again. Let's see what Destiny can get off of this opening. Gets a grab, tries to get the reset with the up tilt, but only 30% smart by uh, Severe Calamari to just jump out of there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the yeah. Dimensional Cave full on on stage, mm -hmm. it really reminds me of my own S Smash 4 side Oh, piece. and the down smash. And to the down smash, yeah. Catch the normal or get No, the that's gotta be a read. You can't react to normal get up. But if you charge your down smash, I think it's possible. Maybe. Yeah, but yeah, then but it's yeah. already a read, but you mm -hmm. react to the timing. But mm -hmm. Like, your op the option you choose is a read. That's what I'm yes. trying to say. <coughs> <coughs> so, first game to Sigurd Calamari. Um, that was very, very clean. That was yes. hella convincing. Yes. Um... So I would not see, be so too surprised right, by switches. Destiny maybe switching character or switching mm -hmm. game plan. Yeah. Because um, that was not working mm -hmm. out at all. I don't I think see him picking Little Mac though. No, because he got not uh, after he tried it once. Yes. It worked out yes. and then it didn't work anymore <laughs> out anymore, so you don't really want to try that again. And yeah, with him. And I, I think his problem is really... Um, he doesn't get too many openings in neutral. When he gets them, he usually makes them count, but cannot find kills. He cannot find those hard reads, because he needs them. Like, his kill options are F smash, where you really need a hard read. Mm -hmm. Up smash, which doesn't really work against Wolf as an out of shield option, because mm -hmm. Wolf is so safe. And then the dimensional cape, which Severe Calamari is ex excellently preventing to get hit by. And yes. after that, it gets hard. Maybe you should go off a little more, try to edge guard with back air. Mm -hmm. Because I think the back air is a little underused because it's an amazing move. Oh, the oh, first the dimensional, first dimensional cape. cape to hit. But yeah, I think Destiny really has to find some alternative ways to get these kills here. Yes, for sure. And oh, stop with the dimensional yes. cape on stage. Yes, like, that, now that was horrible. Now, now Severe Calamari has the confidence up, yes. to just read it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Again. <laughs> okay, but, but this, that was one, this one was a nice mix up. Because he was coming from below yes. stage. I, w I was not expecting it yes. this time. And I didn't know it works to go basically through the stage there. Mm -hmm. Same. But, but yeah, Severe Calamari is probably going to catch on to that. And that's the one time he gets hit by it. It oh, didn't kill. Oh, did Lucky connect. falls out of yes. the up smash. Oh, and but again. Just, <laughs> just tries it again. This time it, it works. <laughs> I, I Doing really the whiz rope. The I really find it interesting that he went back on FD. Yeah. Um, because he lost so convincingly, and FD was maybe a neutral stage, and he didn't choose an advantage stage for him. Yeah, but I don't really see what stage would be better for him. I, I think platforms can very much go either way. 
but with the way they're playing, Destiny doesn't really have those big combos with platform extensions, so I don't oh. think it matters too much. He gets another random yes, to play, can. catches the landing. So it really is his drug and his curse. <laughs> <gasps> this game so far, it has been working out for him. But he really has to look out where he's using it, because... Severe Kalamari is aware, he knows Destiny, he's played him a few times, he knows that the Mindshell Cape is yes. every single time. Meta Knight's get up attack looks very cute. Gets a cute little combo there, but yes. of course with uh, Meta Knight, like, the combos don't matter too much because like, that was 40% or something. 30, 40%, mm -hmm. that's not too much in this game. While Wolf always does 60 or 30 with a two-hit combo. Yes, and I think it's more crucial for Meta Knight to get them at the ledge, to get yeah. them into a back air. Get them stage, get yes. them up, get them somewhere yes. where you can continue mm -hmm. to hit them. Or maybe even just take him up. Oh, and again with the down smash. Okay. Yeah. I want to see up. Destiny go off stage there. In situations like that, go out, try for the back air, force him to go low, down air his low recovery. I don't know, go off, do something. But he, he's more confident um, in just going for oh, the ledge. He, oh, oh, he did no. reverse it. And then the fear to not land. Yeah, went the wrong way and then fast fall mm -hmm. to not get hit by the smash yeah. attack. And he succeeded in not getting hit by the smash attack, but he also just fell. Not onto the stage, not to ledge, but yes, went all the way down. Which means he's now on his last stock here in this game too, and Severe Calamari already doing a fine job on taking on damage. Yes, and I really like the laser usage of Severe Calamari. Um, he uses it every time when Destiny is expecting some close quarter combat, and with the laser he <coughs> basically wins everything or goes even, and it's so smart to use them like that. Especially since they make so much damage. <coughs> Yeah, and I think that's also something he adapted to Destiny because the first few times he was lasering a lot more and Destiny caught the lasers with the Dimensional Cape and now he doesn't really go for those far away lasers just because of that Dimensional Cape because he knows it can, it can get punished but he makes Destiny oh, work for the Dimensional Cape on the laser. Yes, empty hop up smash. Exactly, and after all those close up lasers he just goes for the attack this mm -hmm. time, gets the up smash. Yes. Well, up smash so strong. Mm -hmm. It's important to keep your opponent guessing, and yeah. <coughs> Start the battle. So, what, where, what's Destiny gonna do? I'm interested. Yeah. Then again, maybe, maybe Little Mac because, because they have played in the current patch, I think. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so that may, might change yes. a little bit, some, a little bit something. Then we have to hope that he goes on FD Posty. though. It's really important that um, Lin Mac gets the FD in the stages because um, he can get camped really easily yes. at the top platform. So, but I think something like Smashville would be okay too. Um, if you want, if you yeah, want to go Yeah, I think a little Lin bit Mac. of a platform would actually kind of help. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing, um, Lin Mac, yeah, avoid Lin Mac's for Little Mac lot. or for Meta Knight? Because for, I was for still Lin thinking Mac. about the Meta Knight uh -huh, matchup and I think they're just helping it to uh -huh. avoid lasers, yes, stuff like that. Cool. And Little Mac, cool. I think also platforms are good because he can land. Yes. You just cannot fall back, otherwise mm -hmm. the opponent can platform. Yeah, but we see again the Meta Knight of same, Destiny. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> so, um, Destiny getting a little bit more aggressive with his dash attacks to throw Siri Kalamari off. In neutral. Again, a running dash <coughs> drive. That's something I don't see a lot of people doing. Oh, oh and, and he went off stage. Uh, I like it. I like the idea. But I think he could have committed a little bit more because Wolf is so limited in his recovery. Once you hit him once and still have so many jumps, go out there, hit him one more oh, time. Oh, with the read on the laser. That's what I was talking about. Catch the laser with the dimensional cape. Severe Calamari can 100% not go for those far away lasers. Down smash. And he yes. gets the tech chase with the down smash, the wolf classic, but it doesn't kill at 30, but only <laughs> at 120. <laughs> but same idea, clean spacing. And now for the first time in this set, he's got a stock lead. That's and he's upper, building upper. it. He's oh building my god, it. oh my god. A little oh combo god. up B. Oh. Nice, okay. that's, that's a better combo. That's the first time he actually got that. 
yeah. this long. I think it's very, very percent dependent, and sometimes he can even kill, uh, but Severe Calamari was at a little bit too low percent for it to kill. Uh, didn't get up quite high enough, but it's still, that's 60%. Like, that's a combo that's really, really on worth the, it. And the little <laughs> a walk back from Destiny to stay at the ledge. That's and Destiny That's classic. so nice. Those that's little really walk nice. Yeah. Because um, Severe Calamari expected him to go a little bit to him, to center stage. Destiny just waiting and having patience. Oh, and Severe Calamari is getting a bit antsy. He's reading the neutral get up every time, and Destiny's doing it, but he doesn't get the timing. Again, neutral get up. Okay, will the back throw KO? Yes, yes. it does. Not optimal DI, yes, but I think I it would have so been too. dead otherwise. Uh, anyways, that's the classic. Like, you want to DI down to get the LSI, mm -hmm. um, but then you DI so much so far down that you don't really go to the edge of the yes. last mm -hmm. zone. But you little dash back F smash, and Destiny's got a full stock lead mm -hmm. now. He's got this turned around. Yes, yeah, severe, severe Calamari really has to do something right now because when you're up 2-0, you don't want to give your opponent any little bit of momentum. You don't want to give him the time to yes. come back. But right now, Severe Calamari doing a good job yeah. keeping him out. Keeping the juggle. And making doing damage percentage. He's doing work, man. If you can get the stock right now, suddenly we're back to an even, even game, if not worse, for Destiny. It would be really good if Destiny would get some little up air combo again to bring him to yeah. 60%. To at least have the damage advantage yes. if he loses the stock. Like just that one dash attack. Oh, that was close. Could have died there after that get up attack. Severe Calamari could have probably up smashed. Okay, gets Down the dash attack. Upper, yeah, that's and what that's I thought. The okay, gets it, the upper, upper back air. Doesn't get the full staircase. But still, 50%. Yes, that's up smash, a little bit shield. something. And I think 50% mm. on a rather heavy character like Wolf, this might even be ladder percentage. Maybe yes, it's already too high. That. Okay, never mind. Um, it's never too mind. high. Dash attack doesn't combo no more. Ooh, oh, very close. Catches the landing. Yes. Oh, the NATO. Oh, what a clean edge guard. And he what a make clean it back. edge guard. Wow, that that's what so I want to see. That's, what I, that's yes. what I was talking about. Yes. Give me those edge guards, man. That was clean. Yes. I like it. That's overall something I want to see more in the meta. Like, mm -hmm. learn how to edge guard Wolf. Yes. I can't do it myself. Don't blame me. <laughs> but <laughs> but <laughs> do I it, boys. Wolf has more problems when you, um, when you actually. Um, edge guard him before he does his specials to get yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. That's what he's Definitely. where he struggles. But now we saw Destiny <laughs> actually contesting his up B. That's really strong. That's really good to know that you can just contest that yes. with the tornado. That's yes. very good, strong information. I don't know mm -hmm. if you knew before if, or if he was just gonna, you know, let's mm -hmm. try it. <coughs> but knowing that, that is definitely very, very important because now he basically forces Severe Calamari to always go low, mm -hmm. so he can hard commit to covering low. Mm -hmm. And once you can hard commit to covering one option of Wolf's recovery, yes. he's gonna die soon. Mm -hmm. If he... If he dares to do it. Yes. And let's hope for more um, Nados of Destiny to edge guard yeah. him to keep a more um, dynamic play. Because when Destiny doesn't get this crazy edge guard, then it's, it's very severe difficult. Calamari yeah, then advantage. Severe Calamari has like a in clear the neutral damage. damage output, everything yes. goes for yeah, Severe Calamari. The projectile too. Yeah. Two one for Severe Calamari. And now on PS2, the counter kick for Severe. Uh, we have some platforms right now. Destiny playing his patient game. I like it, but I also want to see him go in as soon as he gets something. Um, because one sometimes when he's not confident, I realize that he's going a little bit too defensive. And then it just does not work out at all. When he's just basically waiting for the opponent to approach. So I like him to play this footsie heavy neutral. But I want to see him go in then. Get his damage. And yes, Severe Calamari really just mm -hmm. basically continuing his game plan. Um, probably I didn't really know why he would favor. Yes, and now we see it again. The up smash out of shield when Destiny nares his shield. Yeah. I'm not quite sure if... Um, Destiny's shield or Destiny's snare is safe on shield. Oh my goodness! He almost got that dimensional cape. Nice, gets an F tilt. Tried to tornado him again, gets the tornado but into the wrong direction. Both still alive. It's getting closer and closer. Okay, so apparently neutral air is really safe on shield if you space it. Okay. And if you land yeah, with it's it, probably it's minus the timing. three minus four. Yes, the timing, or maybe that you did it rising. Yeah, yeah that's if, definitely if you do it rising, then yes. you're 
he couldn't you have drift some enough. There. Yeah, he couldn't drift enough. And yeah, while we were talking about that Nair, uh, Severe Calamari evened the game back up. Destiny pulled ahead very nicely, but Severe Calamari does not let up. Um, he wants to stay in this game, does not want this to game 5. Got a few lasers here. Again the dash grabs, that's the second one in this stuff. Yeah, but this time Destiny was ready for uh -huh. it. Ooh, Again, he gets the it, NATO. but the side B, oh, but he goes on stage. Oh my goodness. And yeah, even if he doesn't get the kill there, he mm -hmm. gets so much percentage. Like, that's basically yes. a full combo from Snake, uh, from Wolf. Which is what you need there. Again, yeah, trying to go for it. Going for it a little often. And yeah, I think maybe he's planning on just doing it often right now and then starting to cover the low recovery later mm -hmm. because he's forcing him to go low and Severe Calamari is going low and um, while I was talking, Destiny is up again. Nice get up attack. Yes, gets the finally grab. realizes that your get up attack has um, invincibility. But we have to know well, Destiny that... Destiny actually used it quite a lot. Yes, but we have to know it's really, really risky to go for that because Wolf has invincibility frames on his down smash. Okay, I didn't know that. But so uh, it's also just mm -hmm. very, very laggy. Yes. Uh, misses the up B, gets punished for it with an up smash. Severe Calamari is still in this game. Uh, he's a little bit behind. But that's just one grab for Wolf, you know? One grab, dash attack, maybe tech chase fair, and then he's in the lead again. Ooh, that's the grab. Okay, favors the up throw over the down throw. Destiny getting some little hits here. Severe Calamari is off stage, tries to two frame with the F smash. Doesn't get it. One more up throw into the forward air. Tries to juggle him with the up air. Yeah, this is getting close. Um, mm. uh, an, an F smash at ledge or somewhere close to ledge from uh, Meta Knight yeah. can definitely kill here. Mm -hmm. Dimensional Cape is getting oh, towards the parry as well. on the oh, smash. Oh my gosh. I think he was it's not like, ready oh, and, again. and he gets the F smash. Nice. We are back in an even set. Yes. I did not expect that in now the beginning. <laughs> Serena Calamari was yes. playing so confidently. Uh huh. And now we got the game five. Yes, Again, sir. we are having so many game fives in this tournament. <laughs> like, top 32 was <laughs> full of them. And Destiny's playing very, very changed. He, he's gotten so much more mm -hmm. confident in those two games. Like, you saw it in the end. He didn't get a combo, but he got so many little hits. Yes. And he just did not Agreed. let up. Mm -hmm. He kept up the pressure. Didn't let him get back to neutral. Didn't give him any space. And against Wolf with his strong and quick buttons, that's something where you need to be really brave, where you need to yes. dare to go in like that. Sure. Because he can backfire real quick. Dash attack and actually unsafe on hit maybe, or maybe Sirio Calamari wanted to um, get something out of it and do the yeah, next both move. possible. <coughs> then again, Spacey's having um, dash attacks that are Negative on hit at zero is nothing new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see that there. The Nair on landing is safe, but mm -hmm. if you don't land with on uh, with it with the right timing, then it is not. Oh, oh now really ready for the with it. dimensional Don't cave. do it. Don't oh, do it. And something Sigil Kalamari haven't hasn't done yet is his um. This is use of back air. He did. He didn't really use back air up to yeah. now. Um, maybe I mean, I can see Kai kind of why because uh, little Mid ma uh, Meta Knight Midnight is such is a small character, yes. very hard to catch, uh -huh. and back air is like a move where you try to cover a lot of space, and it does only kind of help against Meta Knight, but it's hard to get. But of course, on the platforms you have that space you can cover where you know he's gonna be there at some point. So back uh, short to back uh, definitely good move and he gets a strong yes. hit on the tornado That's and he pulls ahead yes. in this game five. Oh, Again wow. the NATO so we're I think going for the hard I'm not quite me. sure if if Destiny actually knew that his NATO could edge guard. Maybe he just thought it out in the in the game no, and he then knew. implemented it. He one hundred percent. Uh -huh, because he only used <coughs> it in game three where he began to win. Maybe he didn't know that he would win against um, oh, clean the eye. He would win clean. against the up B from Wolf. Oh, again, and again. Oh, oh, but he, he releases back. the uh, down smash too early. I think he accidentally turned Oof. around and then wasn't quite sure because down smash has the delayed second hit. Mm -hmm. He wasn't quite sure when to release. That's unfortunate. Uh, and you got a feel for Severe Calamari here. He had that stock 100%.
Yes. And but now he's suddenly a lot down. Could lose his second stock at any moment. Destiny on 203%. Anything will kill here. A dash attack, a grab, no matter what. Maybe even a strong Nair. And we're definitely getting to the area where a weak Nair will also start killing sure. a ledge. But Siri Calamari. 219. Um, and he oh gets yeah, the forward air, a roll there, read. Yes. Clean reaction. Sivir Finally. Calamari actually struggling to kill Snake a lot. And maybe that was also a, a little bit of a weakness of Sivir Calamari oh, to did kill. Did you see that? No. He just went for an up throw back air. Up throw back air. <laughs> Could that be true? Give us the info, boys. <laughs> Oh my god, he almost had that down smash. That would have 100% killed him. Uh, another high recovery, and out of nowhere, that it's, this game is back to even after that. Oh, ahead by so very much. nice dimensional tape this time. Uh, Doing tries it to go for the nade, doesn't get oh, it. Oh, the back air! The jump with the back air! And uh, suddenly, Severe Calamari is on his potential tournament stock, about to go down at 7th place. Oh, gets the dash attack. Ah, oh, but. Nice shield on the platform. Catches the spot dodge with the jab. Yeah, you cannot land safe on the platform. Almost got the F smash already. Destiny's playing confident. He's getting his stuff. 61% is really good, even if Destiny loses his stock now. But then again, we saw how the last stock went. Destiny lived to 200 and got mm -hmm. um, Severe Calamari to 100. And then two seconds later, it was even, so... Don't want to get into any comfort zone here. Destiny, no, Destiny's not out of the uh, danger zone yet. And Severe Calamari is 100% still in this game. Oh, and gets the F tilt. Oh, and doesn't quite kill. Enough. And now I think the percentage starts where um, Wolf only can kill with stray hits. Ooh. So it's going to get difficult for them. There we oh, it's still alive! Nado! One more oh. chance! Oh, okay, and the SD's at yes. 150. 150. 110% on Severe Calamari. Yes. What do you still have? Can you surprise us one more time? Does he have what it takes for a comeback? Oh, no tech! Oh, no tech. Wants to reset. This time he gets the tech, gets down smash, still alive. 135. Jumps again, but Destiny not quite high enough with the uh, back air. Oh, oh that's, the dimensional that's the dimensional tape. Tape. That's the game. And the JV 2 stuff. Destiny pops off after that intense reverse 3 yes. 0. Clean stuff. Clean. Wow. He's happy. <laughs> and Good he, shit. Yeah, he's really happy. I mean, you gotta be around. like, game one and two were <laughs> yes. hella convincing for yes. Severe Calamari. He yes. was very much outplaying uh -huh. Destiny. And then Destiny started going for edge guards, going yes, more confident with his, the with his game. I think the edge guards were the thing that helped him yeah, to win this game. Crucial thing that then changed him to play more confident. Yes. Go for his stuff, be brave, mm -hmm. go in. He's and still it worked around. out in the end. <laughs> yeah, that was hella <laughs> close. Yeah, deep free, and now we are going to see deep freeze against Funky. Deep freeze versus Funky. That's a, I right. think we had this matchup um, um, many times. I think in the last past tournaments. Okay. I heard from Crazy Shroom and Mirakuru. Um, but but I, I I'm, I'm guessing it's very much advantage for yes. deep freeze, right? Yes, I think so too. But um, Funky is still a player that could upset him. Yeah, you never know. With yes. Funky, you really Funky, never know. Even in the late days of Smash 4, he could upset Kepler or Crazy Shroom. Yeah, you never, yes. you never know. <laughs> I think Funky has to figure something out and then go for it and then he can win. Yeah. But until he gets it, he can't do really much against Deep Freeze, in my opinion. Do you think we're going to see the Wolf or the Falco from Deep Freeze? The Falco, because for sure. Okay, for sure. yeah, good yes, shit. Yes. I, was just, I just wanted to say I believe Falco heavily wins against mm -hmm. uh, Pac-Man. Shine is amazing. Uh, he has a very good out of shield game because usually Pac Man goes for those uh, short top nair into a uh, short top fair into another aerial on shield. Um, and Falco can just nair out of shield into at low percent into drag down forward there up mm -hmm. tilt. Um, at high percent, just nair out of shield is a very strong option. You c really cannot attack Falco's shield high. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I that's something Pac-Man likes to do. Yes, and I think I will get some pizza slice I have right here. I'm pretty hungry. And with so. Thanks. So yeah, Falco versus Pac-Man. That's probably the matchup I played the most, uh, the absolute most in Smash Bros. Ultimate. If we're gonna see the Falcon, I mean, after all, it might also just be Wolf, you never know.
Okay, he's thinking about it. Funky, of course, going Pac-Man. I don't think he has another character. Okay, Falco Pac-Man it is. Players put on their headsets. And we are going into game one here. Uh, didn't catch the stage. We are going to stadium. Okay, classic star stage. <coughs> yeah, this matchup is really, really hard because both characters have hella struggle, hella big struggle approaching. But if the other one has to approach, they both do very, very well. <coughs> Clean there into the up tilt, catching the platform. Good stuff there. I really like the usage of Falco's F tilt. That's a very underrated move, I believe. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it more or less truly connects into grab at Locus Hand. Yeah. And it's just it's mm -hmm. just very, very quick. And will Funky go for edge guard? No, he will go for an F smash. Um, his fruit, yeah. the bell. The bell is so strong. Uh, I don't like what Deep Freeze did. Oh, clean F smash. I don't like uh, what he did with the bell, trying to shine it. Because if you shine it like that, it just goes straight up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you're safe, but it's just gone. Um, <coughs> what I would like him to do is just shield it. Yeah. Exactly. Shield it, and then jump out of shield Nair to catch it. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, clean stuff. Yes, sir. That connects dash attack into up tilt. I hope we are going to see some crazy hydrant stuff from, from Funky. This would be hide. Like when he runs into the hydrant and gets pushed with the water. Oh, clean catch with the Nair. Goes off stage. I don't think he wanted to, to go for that side B. That is not a very deep freeze play. He's more the kind of player to go for a... Um, <coughs> can I say it? Yeah, back air. Oh, tilt Bad tilt. Yeah. That's hard. Strawberry put him back. But, yeah, but of course. doesn't really seem to hold deep freeze at the ledge. Yeah, Funky trying to get something with the bell, doesn't get anything though. Back air afterwards, oh, but that's that's not good. You, you don't want to laser him there, because you don't wanna want him to have the item in his hand. Because if he has it in his hand, and can use it with just throwing it, and doesn't have to uh, go for the neutral B, yes. then it's a lot, lot quicker. So you can barely do anything on his shield and yes. stuff like that. But then again, of course, he can only use it once. And yeah, he was waiting for that. Deep Freeze, he's, he's, he's kind of camping Funky right now. Yeah. He's walking away as soon as Funky has the bell, he's having Yeah, but space. then again, like, you gotta. Yes. You can't go. approach Pac-Man if he has bell in hand, because yeah. you can't touch his shield. That was pretty high. Doubt it down here into back air. Yeah, clean stuff. Bread and butter kill confirm. Going to be yeah, that was convincing 1-0. That was convincing. Funky has to do something here, otherwise mm -hmm. Deep Freeze can just pull through just like that, go on. Yes. It's looking good for him. Mm -hmm. For sure. And I think um, the camping will be the biggest issue here. Um, the camping of Deep Freeze. Do yeah. not commit to anything. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're starting and Funky again at putting his opponent at 54%. Yeah, but then again, y'all know Falco. He doesn't need a lot and he has big, big combos in this game. Yeah, you really gotta shield. Shielding the bell is oh, insanely cool. strong. Yes, but now he. He threw it down and then yeah. actually the hitbox stays active. Yeah. You cannot normally get up into Pac-Man if he has belt. That's mm -hmm. they very often because it's very easy for them to catch it, so they often go for it. 
and um, it's also something like players start to think, what am I gonna do when they throw the bell down? And then they start thinking, stay a little bit there, and it also catches you while you're hanging at left. It does. Yes, sir. Oh, that's... So you have to pick an option. Um, but you cannot normally get up. Oh, clean yeah. shield poke with the back air. Gets the kill here. A little bit of a lead for Funky, but not too much. Yeah, Deep Priest using the Hydrant against Funky. That's very crucial in this matchup, again, too. Yeah, it's kind of a double-edged sword because on the one hand, the Pac-Man kind of wants you to attack the Hydrant. Mm -hmm. So he can set up his stuff, he can get yes. his fruits. But then again, if you manage to use the Hydrant effectively, it suddenly kind of turns around. Because then it's no longer just a fake out, but yeah, that's that's the one thing you can absolutely not do. If he stands behind the Hydrant, you cannot attack into it with a move that doesn't break it. Yeah, Deep Freeze really? actually, I think, misinput with his side his down B, his shine. Oh yeah, that's possible. They're going for a lot of down airs. Um, maybe down air to back air will hit about right now. Yeah, for sure. Like it hits basically all the time, but it kills around this yeah. percent when back air kills. Yeah, that's that's very strong to die at 107 percent from a back air. Yeah, Falco's back air lower. is insanely strong. Oh, that was a very strong laser because. You know the Pac-Man players go for the Galaga and then catch it, but mm -hmm. with the laser he disrupted uh, Funky's timing to catch it. Yes. Uh, so he could not get the item. <coughs> yeah, he really has to watch out more for when he attacks the Hydrant. Ooh. Oh, and the oh charge my god, he had that spot dodge. He read it. But yeah, I wouldn't have killed yet anyways, I believe. And that well, it would have been a lot mm -hmm. of damage. But he attacked just in the spot dodge moment. Now he has the bell. This is well, very yeah, dangerous. You, yes, and you have to watch out because of the bell strange um, movement. <laughs> when you shine <laughs> it, because sometimes you cannot shine it. You know? Mm -hmm. Because it goes over the shine from Falco. Oh With my god, for a but second. Got I time again to pick up the fruit. For a when second there, I thought. Um, uh, I thought he would catch him. What? What? Was it. I don't think. What happened? Was it the laser? It was but the laser. The laser does not have knockback, it just stuns you for a second. Yes. Maybe, maybe he hit the item. I didn't see the laser hit, actually. Uh huh. It does. But I didn't see his damage change. Uh huh. So, uh -huh, okay. so Misha Mute told us that um, it can happen that laser kills you and that the zoom in also <coughs> comes in. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm confused because um, I didn't see his damage rise. I didn't see it hit, basically. Mm -hmm. It was side B. Oh, uh -huh. Pac-Man yeah. side B. Yeah, Smuff and told us I that. think that's kind of similar yes. to the Fox yes. side B, mm -hmm. um, where you get a little bit of momentum towards where you are flying. Thank you, Smuff, for the knowledge. Oh, and he starts attacking into the Hydrant again with moves that don't uh, knock it over. Because when you do that, you Funky afterwards can really just do whatever. Yes. This interaction was pretty funny. Um, Deep Freeze actually calculating the watcher into his F smash. Back air. Clean up to back air, not quite enough yet. Next back air will 100% be it. I wanted to see him go for a fair to try and cheat poke Funky. Ah, uh, I think up air would've... Mm, not quite sure. Could have 100 percent killed. Wow, I'm funky. You could have up smashed that. You think up smash would have reached yes. that high? Uh huh. Funky sma uh, Pac Man smash attacks are big. Mm -hmm. They're basically Mario F smash, but in different directions. Ah, uh, yeah. 
That's what I was talking about with the shine, you know. He even hit Funky with the shine, but the belt just went over yes. it and hit him. Catching the Galaga, actually throw first putting down the hydrant and then throwing the Galaga in the other direction so that the light laser can't interrupt him. That's really interesting. Yeah, way that's to get how you should use the hydrant um, to disrupt what your your opponent's approaches. Give yourself some time. And also, like, if the opponent hits into it with a move that only hits once, uh, you can really just mm -hmm. hit it with anything, basically. Oh, clean up air to back air! Yes. Funky only very, very closely surviving. Oh, man. Yeah, deep freeze fishing for the... No, actually, he should have realized uh, quicker what Funky was going for and did, that he didn't have the angle because that side B has extremely long lag, so he could have just... Um, yeah. Down aired it, or even forward aired it, or anything. But it doesn't really matter, he doesn't take too much more percent. Um, he's got a big lead. <laughs> <laughs> Laser camping him. Yeah, I mean, whatever works. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah you gotta space mm -hmm. that side B very, very precisely yes. to get through below Lemon. It was already like this in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. um, Against Fox, especially, yeah. yeah. I mean, just the side. The, uh, illusion side B. Mm -hmm. The Galaga getting a lot of Oh percentage. my god, and that's Pac Man 4, yeah, you know. Sometimes it just happens and you're suddenly a kill percent. When just everything hits you at the same moment. Oh, that could have been a, a strong, strong back oh, oh, the F Smash! Nice dash back F Smash. Funky yes. gets himself on the board, gets his mm -hmm. first game. Yeah, uh, Deep Freeze got a little antsy there with that landing down air. That was very, mm -hmm. very unsafe. Funky but I it. see Deep Freeze um, doing a lot of jumps in front of the shield of Funky to um, evade the grab because you can't spot dodge it um, if you're close to it. You have to be far away from it and spot dodge. Funky spot dodges a lot? Oh no, or no, no. When or Funky to evade the grab. Yes, yes, yes. Funky yes, wants yes. To grab. That's something that happens dodges. a lot against mm -hmm. Pac-Man. You and just want to go for your mm -hmm. classic spot dodge, mm -hmm. and then you get actually get caught. Yes, Deep Freeze told me that he actually struggles sometimes to spot dodge um, the grab of Pac-Man, or he's not always aware of this grab that catches yeah. the spot dodge. Let's yeah, say but like that. once you get used to it, very often you can just mash jab or a tilt mm -hmm. to beat out the grab, because it's still a slow grab. <laughs> I'm trying to pull up the, go on. the chat. Pulling up chat. Okay, so now we can just to have it. Yeah, now we can see the chat. We actually weren't able to read the chat up to now. But yeah, back to the match. Uh, very, very even so far. Oh, that could have actually, I think, Owen been a perfect up tilt for. Deep Freeze really has to thank his reflector for the work that he's doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the grab on the back air, that would have been it, the kill. Oh, but yes, again, yes. he misspaces spaces his Miss side spacing. B recovery. You cannot go that high. Pac-Man can do whatever he wants in that moment to kill you. And yeah, one thing I also want to see is uh, Deep Freeze kind of shielding a little more up close and just getting um, nares and fares out of shield. Oh boy! Oh boy, clean tag. Okay, makes it back. Takes a little bit of damage for it, but not too much. Nice up smash. Up smash. On the rising back air of Funky. Rising aerial's not safe at all. Nope. Like, now at this low percent, uh, if Funky goes for any high move on On his on deep freeze's shield, yes, he could just go for nair into drag down fair into either grab or up tilt, and y'all know what Falco can do out of grab or up tilt at low percent. Mm -hmm. For sure. But Funky's having a big lead right now. Yeah. Um, if he gets his spell and the kill, that's that's a. I think he will take the game if he takes it. If he takes this stock now. Yeah, Falco is a character that has such big struggle approaching. Um, just as. The more time passes, and if the lead stays, it just gets harder and harder. Oh, the water pushed him into that nair. 
Yeah, Deep Freeze can 100% not afford to lose that stock right now. You cannot attack, attack a shield like that. That's unsafe. I know that in this game, a lot of stuff is safe on shield. And yeah. yeah back, back throw. It Take doesn't it. matter if you space your forward air against Pac-Man. You just got to beat out the grab or roll away. Mm -hmm. Spacing really doesn't matter for him. Well, I think as long as um, Deep Freeze um, pulls back his fair when, he's, when he hits it on his shield. No, actually you don't want to pull it back, you want to get that last hit uh -huh. and then jab. Because if you pull it back it doesn't matter because the grab's still going to hit you. Mm -hmm. And then you allow him to grab earlier even, so it's even less safe on shield. Yeah, he's kind of getting hit unnecessarily by the hydrant and stuff like that. Reflector. Ooh, it's getting reflector close here. Again. Nice jump catch with the back air. Ooh, gets through the hydrant. Oh. Nice dash attack. Punishing the grab. Oh, this, this side yep. B, yes. yes That's this side the tipper hitbox. Mm -hmm. That's insanely strong. That's insane. I actually want to see him go a little closer. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as he sees the side B startup, go for the double jump forward there. Because you can get him on the startup, and forward air hit just kills insanely early down there. And Pac-Man doesn't really have that many options down there. Like he can always come back, but it's at some point it's incredibly linear. Oh, and Deep Freeze starts thinking here. Yes, okay, that right. stays with the Falco. Oh man, we're already in the next game five. <laughs> so <laughs> I was telling you the reset was full of game fives. I love this little combo funky, the fair, fair into grab and up there. Yeah. That's so... I, it's really satisfying to see it. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of like combos that always work, you know? Um, because it's kind of just always the same, it doesn't really take... It, it's basically no interaction between the players, you know? While the combo is going on. Mm -hmm. And that's something Ultimate kind of has a lot. Um, I think Warrior is the prime example. Where you have the nair into landing up air, up air, up air. Which just makes it all so, more, so much more special when you see a, like a special combo that only works in certain situations. Down, down, down air! Oh. It. So maybe down that's is why insane. Deep Freeze was always side being because the down air is really exploitable. Yeah, I mean the side B is good, you just have to space it and mm -hmm. um, you don't want to get hit by Pac Man down air. Mm -hmm. That move kills insanely early, yeah. especially against spaces. Pac-Man down air is not a joke, I'm man. not even sure if Snake down air would have killed there. Oh, really? Pac-Man down air? Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't... Yeah. Even though they're the same motion. Yeah. And yeah, Funky's going ahead. I'm never mind. Shield taking it, Commentator's yes. curse. <laughs> <laughs> now we're even. Last game. Or... Wow, yeah, Actually, if Funky would do this, he would be at least fifth at the reset six. Which would be an insane run for him. Oh, but he gets a nice little combo with Galaga there by Deep Freeze. Doesn't actually do too much percent, but it's something. Oh, up tilt. No double jump on Funky. Oh, but he cannot get anything out of it. Only up tilt to up air. Nice parry. Doesn't get the back air though. He tries to F smash. Oh, what? They were standing inside of each other, so he could not get the uh, um, grab. Up. <laughs> this will get clutch. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Clean. Really, this yeah. time he catches the jump. That's Deep Freeze going for it all the time. This will be Finally, for Funk jumps. Now he's. Now Deep Freeze is in the lead. Yeah, he really has to get a quick stock uh -huh. here without taking much damage. Otherwise, he will have to start approaching even more, which gets hard. Nice. He yeah, does the percent. Now he just has to find some smash attack. Start charging Bell or something like that. Deep Freeze goes off stage for no reason. He wanted to probably laser there. Oh, okay. Accidentally goes yes. for the third trampoline. You never want to go for the third trampoline because the opponent can just come down, take the third one, and then you just fall to your death. But Deep Freeze was not quite ready for it. Back throw might do it. Ah, uh, not quite. He will go for the orange. Yeah, of course. Oh, why the back air? I Again, think he might have been... Um, Funky might have been, uh, what's he called, buffering something. Because usually you can just down air all the time there. Oh, for a second I thought he was forced to take the third Oh, one. the that's spot the dodge, yes. Again, yes, the spot that's dodge. What we, were talking about. we are in a lost talk situation here. And in loser's top eight of the reset six.
Community. Funky is off stage, but yeah, Deepfish does not want to risk it. He does not want to go out there. Like last game, we saw him go for all of that shit in the last stock situation, but this time it's game five. He's got the lead. He has to chill. Oh, he almost could have gotten something. I was getting reminded by Smash 4 Pac-Man clips where like where they get like the two Galaga mm -hmm. into the, the side B tipper. Yes. But he does not quite get it. Galaga's ready again. The oh, bell is ready. The bell. bell. Oh, oh but yeah, one more smash, high see. approach on shield mm -hmm. gets you yes. punished every single time. Oh. He pulls through. Yeah. Deep freeze pulled through. Mm -hmm. um, defends himself from getting reverse 3 0 mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been insane because he reversed 3 0 um, Crash 2. Funky? Yes. Uh, no, he didn't. I he didn't. won game one. Ah, he won game and one. And then Crash uh -huh. was up to one. Uh huh. Oh, but yeah, still a very, very strong run for Funky coming in at seventh here. Uh, next up, we're getting into the even more exciting part of the bracket because it's winner mm -hmm. Samis right now. Yes, Alexiao against No, actually, Loki loser side is more hype because players <laughs> actually fall out of tournament. But still, <laughs> we're gonna see maybe a Greninja Ditto here. Mm -hmm. Uh, both maining Greninja, Alexiao of course, um, yeah. already maining Greninja yes. in Smash and 4. Yes, and Alexiao very proud of his, Alex of his Ditto um, set counts against everyone okay. because he's never lost okay. a Greninja wow. game or set against another Greninja. He won everyone against Ice Studying. That's and so he has a very impressive. high pride. That's very impressive. And apparently if he loses this... Um, it would be the first time. He, it, it would be the first time, the first game, I think, or the first... I think the first set he will lose. Probably. Um, and then I think he will switch from Greninja. To what? I think so. Because he has he such a high... He will switch to what? To Snake? Or? Yes, to Snake. Okay, yeah. I can definitely see mm -hmm. that too. Um, I want something to eat. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to go off stream. Mm -hmm. And for those that don't know, um, Alexiao is a very strong French Sorry. player. And he's about, I think, from 5th to 2nd. Um, on the PR, um, the thing is that Alexiao doesn't really attend many tournaments or tournaments that um, many people attend or many um, good people attend. But when he attends, he gets um, usually first or top three. And that's why it's difficult to rank them. But um, just looking at his skill, he's definitely top five in France. And yeah, and Smuff, I think, is more known. He's a very good Swiss player. Um, about top five, at least. I don't really know because he's not attending too much since Ultimate. Mm -hmm. But he's had a very strong showing at, uh, how's he called, the tournament in Spain? Um, I think Tech Republic? Yeah, Tech Republic. Yes. He, got, he got, I believe, either 9th or 13th. Uh, which is amazing, of course. And he's also got some very strong uh, wins inside of Switzerland. Um, and of course, we saw basically our number one and two players, Severe Calamari and Destiny, duke it out in losers top eight for seventh mm -hmm. place. And Smuff, also a Swiss player, is still in winner same eyes. Mm -hmm. That's pretty telling. Yes. And I think I will eat some pizza again. I'm pretty hungry again. <laughs> Gönn so dir, Bruder. Ready stage? <laughs> All right, we're going to the Street Fighter stage, Omega. Battlefield. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, players are getting ready. I think they're still working with the headphones. Uh, do they need assistance with the headphones or does it work? Okay, they are ready now, I think. Okay, classical top player stuff taking a hell lot of time. Can we help you guys? Or okay, they're ignoring me. 
I think something with the audio is not quite right for them. Let's go Zuri for real. Okay, um, I think we have some struggle with the audio. They're using, they're using the audio splitter on the audio splitter. Of course, it's not gonna work. Why? Oh man, top players don't know shit. <laughs> they, need, they need the more sound. They don't know shit. <laughs> so finally, we are getting started. We are, we are seeing the Greninja Ditto. Sounding funny and um Lexiao is already in the lead by a little bit. Smuff doesn't really get anything here. Oh, tries to catch him with an So here I'm back. Into it. And we are going to see a lot of dash attacks and down tilts. Dash attack not really not unsafe on shield, it's minus twelve. It's punish twelve for sure. But um, if you mix it up with your um, down tilts, it's really hard to punish. Okay, interesting. Just run up down smashes. And yeah, that's yeah, something that's in this matchup very that's very important. important. Greninja is easy to two frame. And of course, down tilt forward there. You can just two frame down tilt forward there and profit. And yeah, Alexiao is pulling ahead here with a very confident lead. Oh, but oh, no, come thanks. on. I thought so this is Winner's there. top 8 of the reset. Y'all gotta get them tax, man. And especially yeah, on course the it happens. Yeah. Because he knows um, the three hits on yeah, the back air. Also, overall in Ultimate, I feel like tacking is rather easy. Mm -hmm. You just have to hold it. But yeah, it it's not very faced by that. He's pulling ahead again. Smuff not willing to go far off for the edge guard. And Smuff doesn't get the tag as well. Y'all are Yo. carried by dash attack, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually really surprised that they both did not get the tech there. Okay, that's the start. Up air, back air, 50%. Good stuff. Oh, but then he just waits there. <laughs> I love the sound effects. That's actually cool. Um, you can true combo counter upwards into up air sometimes. You too? Mm -hmm. I don't think against all the characters, but it looks really cool. Oh, I think that was a down tilt up smash. Yeah, he gets yes. it there. Now both are on their last, last stock. stock. Of course, a uh, big temp uh, temperature. <laughs> uh, percentage <laughs> difference. Yes, but it doesn't mean to too much in the Greninja Ditto because yes. it can do everything out of nowhere. But of course, weak nair into forward air. That's. A yes. kill confirmed, that's oh, just so consistent Yes. and oh, so strong. But it's really hard um, when you're on high percentage against the other Greninja because um, you can mostly just down, down tilt fair you and then you're dead. And that's yeah. very, very strong. Yeah, overall just down tilt is such a yes, scary Yes, dash attack move. too. Yeah, dash, dash attack well. kill, has even kill confirms. No. It no. does, no. I think so. Not if you DI. I will see. Main Greninja <laughs> for <laughs> some time. <laughs> like, it can connect into forward air, but not very consistently. Uh -huh. But of course, wow, that's just. That's Greninja for you. Gets a straight forward air into dash attack, into up smash, 60%. Yeah, I want to see them go for more of those two frames because um, I realized when I was playing Greninja Ditos uh, that it's actually just rather consistent to get. Ah, uh, clean! Weak there, into the up smash. Good stuff. And yeah, Alexia pulls ahead again. 
He's playing very confidently. He's reading all of those op landing options from Smuff. And he's not scared at all. And now we're even. Oh yeah, that's something I like to see. Uh, because usually um, Greninjas just go for the F-throw, and the F-throw is actually a very potent kill throw. So people tend to DI in, at least at around 120. And if they DI in, you can try to go for a mix-up with the down, down throw, throw into either forward air or, ba or back air, or even up air if you read their jump, to get a kill out of it. When they would not yet die, so it's basically the DI mix-up. And I'm getting some food here, so catch you later, guys. Messi. Okay, so... Um what I'm seeing is that um, Alexiao is really, really confident in this matchup. Never mind, my food's still too hot, I'll leave it later. <laughs> yeah, Alexiao really is. He does not seem scared at any given time. Oh, gets the drag oh, down, tech chase. Ah, oh, but doesn't get the forward air there. Yeah, um, it depends on the different... Uh, dash attack has different hitboxes. Or it just depends on the distance you have. So you have to get the inner part of the hitbox. Maybe it's the same hitbox, I'm not quite sure. Ooh, dragged on up air, but he doesn't uh, actually lock down. And catches him. out the jump. Wow, yeah. clean. That's Ooh, not the first time more. he called out his jumps. Doesn't get the tech chase this time. But that's great to see. Smoth taking all those drag down um, up airs. Because that is rather hard to tech, in my opinion. Yeah, Alexiao just two stocks from here. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's hard. Um, Alexiao seeming really, really confident. Yeah. And um, yeah, and they're staying on FD. <laughs> they're staying on FD on Sasaki's castle. Um, both taking really. Yeah, yeah, we're seeing the Dito one more time. Yeah, this will be hard for Smuff, but we've seen him come back. We've seen him come back. Stray hit fair. Doesn't connect into anything. Dash attack. Up air, back air. Really strong. Okay, so um, I'm not quite sure um, if Smuff was a is able to adapt um, well or enough to make this turn around. But there we see the next kill of um, Alexiao with the up smash. Yeah, as the tech goes on, Alexiao really just makes it look more and more confident for him. Mm -hmm. Yes, and now the tech chase. He's getting everything but it's he needs. Really, it's really good that we see the techs from both players. And when, when the drag down happens, that's really good stuff because if you get um, jab locked, you can combo it into a fair. And that's. Um, that's. Um, hype. Wait. Now I'm just mispronouncing words. Um, you get a lot of damage. If you get jab locked, you can go for down tilt up smash. That's usually the smash best too. option. At low percent, um, dash attack into the reset. Yeah. Those are basically your options. You usually, what you want is the down tilt up smash. Because that can also just kill hella early. It's not One more up air, but clean the eyes still alive. It. This will take it. Yeah. Even and stocks, but again, insane percent different. I really. I think. I think so. Um, Smuff is one down to the way from being dead at the ledge for sure. Um, but we see, yeah, here we see it, here we saw it. But um, in neutral, Alexiao seems to go a lot of, seems to go a lot of, or he seems to go for a lot of um, nares until he um, takes him off stage. The jab, back there, this is going to take it. Yes, this will be hard for Smoth. 2-1. Stock deficit. I mean, you were talking about Greninja going for a lot of nares in neutral, and uh, like <laughs> Greninja's nair has insane frame data. Like it doesn't come out very quickly, but mm -hmm. 
It's either positive on shield or like minus one My or two. Yeah, I think so. Minus three. Or if minus three, correct, but yes. you really have time to mix up what you do afterwards. Yes. It's insanely safe. You can even just dash away sometimes. Oh, and that could be it. Here Next, another Nair. Nair at latch into forward there is gonna be it for Smuff if he gets hit. Nair or, up smash. Ooh, but he falls out of falls the strong out. hit. Oh, gets one last chance, mm -hmm. but that's it. That's it, yeah. That was a clean water shuriken. Mm -hmm. To catch him on the side B charge, yes. make him unable to side B enough. Good shit. 3-0. Mm -hmm. That was clean. For Alexia, yes. Um, so yeah, Alexiao moves just like his seed predicted into winners finals, mm -hmm. where he is going to face off against the winner of our next match, with I which is the Strasbourg Dito, I believe. Jesui Shok versus Ryuji. Yeah, Ryuji, Ryuji is coming up on stage. I hope Shesvishuk is on the way as well. So, who are we going to see right now? Shesvishuk versus Ryuji, Ryuji. winner same as. Oh, so this is going to be a Strasbourg elimination. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But like, you cannot really complain if you <laughs> have to el eliminate your friend in yes. winner same mm -hmm. of such a big tournament. For sure. Um, but I think the um, the guys from Strasbourg know this um, matchup really well between those two players. Have been playing yeah. since Smash Four a lot. They see each other yes. on, at weeklies and mm -hmm. everything. Shishok is also getting ready. Mm. We have some French jet going off here. They're rooting for their boys. No, I'm actually not eating right now. I'm just waiting for the camera to switch so I can take another bite. He's the non-professional one. Woof! 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 Shit, guy. So we're going to Smashville for the starter stage. I actually really dislike Smashville in this game because platforms are such a hard border, kind of, which makes that below area so secluded. Mm -hmm. Ugh, um, not my not my jam. And the thing about Kirby is that Kirby has to play um, very much grounded. Yeah. Um, especially against a sport character like Ike. And he because he loses every aerial interchange. Yes. But the good things I see in this matchup for Kirby are um, the down air spike and the recovery of I. That's something um, I think Shesvi Shock will be going for. No. Sie müssen zweimal drücken und nachher disconnect controller. It's good. All right. The players are ready. Yes, Ike versus Kirby. Used to be a terrible matchup for Kirby in Smash 4, I believe. Overall, Kirby could just not at all handle swords. Yes. But Kirby is, I believe, stronger in this game. Mm -hmm. And Shesu is just an amazing player, really. Yes, he makes he it work. He goes for a yes. lot of hard reads. He's a very, very His smart guy. In Strasbourg really showing yeah. <laughs> is this. No, this is not going to be it. I think the low profiling of um, 
of Kirby will actually trouble Ike some more when it's facing his aerials. And yeah, we see um, just a shock really wanting to mixing, really wanting um, to mix up his options. Um, when landing against Ike, that's crucial because if he gets an up air, he can die really early or get um, gets put into another really bad disadvantage state. But yeah, it's looking pretty even right now as uh, most games start. And one thing. Yes, and one thing that I believe is pretty overlooked is that Kirby actually has some pretty decent uh, KO options yes. with back that air. insanely strong and oh so quick back air. Like that hits a Greninja on the ground, short hook mm -hmm. back air, out of shield. Oh, oh. and the down air spike Woo. from Ryuichi. <laughs> um, <he's laughs> Kirby's smash attacks are also very strong, very mm -hmm. quick. Down air, fair, are we yes, another, another fair. one. Another one. gets the tilt. reset. Ooh, that yes. just barely connected that second hit on the up B. Gets a dash attack. I like the height of his, of his recovery. Um, not designed to go low because I think you can get spiked rather easily. At the footstool, you see? Down air spike, down air spike, no. We didn't get it. Yeah, but he got some very good damage out of it. Uh huh. Up air. I think so. Oh, but he has now. to watch out for Ike's up air. But um, in the meantime, Ryuji really has to look, um, look for Kirby's back air. Yeah, sure. Right now, it will kill that ledge. Uh, maybe not quite, but. And actually, also one move I wanted to talk about is Kirby's dash attack. Mm -hmm. Having a lot more now kill power. Yeah, it's now a usable KO option, like for those situations where you cannot seem to find a kill. Mm -hmm. Sometimes where it, it's kind of like Pikachu's. It reminds me of yes. the Pikachu dash attack. Yes, when nothing works. <laughs> go Sometimes for dash you just attack. go for it. Nice up the other shield. Get some more percent. I really like how Jesse Shok is watching out with his recovery. Not to get edge guarded. Yes. Because Kirby has a, a hell lot of options to get back to stage, but they're not the best options. Ooh, got something started here. Almost gets a re grab, but yeah, gets up tilted, tilted for going for it. Yes. And now we're back at an even game. It's a forward there. Nice the idle, so we cannot get another one. Winner's semis. Yeah, and we see just we show going for the up piece to get out Winner's semi finals. To maybe get the, um, the beam out and interrupt the recovery of I. <laughs> I like that uh, he tries to intercept that with his up B, which is probably his only disjointed move. And the he gets attack. a dash attack and he moves mm. up 1 0 for just we should. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure. I didn't have a favorite in this game. A fav uh, someone that I thought that will win this for sure, or will win this more favorably. Yep. Um, both really, they really are even in some kind of way. Yeah, I 
don't know both players that well. Um, played with Chesby Shock some in front, and he, he just struck me as yes. like Kirby's terrible character, but he's insanely good. Mm -hmm. And I have not actually seen Ryuji play too much, but they're very, very even. It really seems like both players know the matchup, know what they are looking for. Interesting dash attack to start out the game, and he gets punished for it dearly. And the up again. I want to see how it works, how his ledge trapping or edge guarding works with his up from Kirby. I didn't, I didn't see it work up to now, but I want to see the interaction with the hits. Okay, interesting parry, but he doesn't get anything out of it. I don't know if he maybe could have done something there after that parry. He just didn't go for it or buffed it a little too early or something. Again. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, oh, I think he could have ma actually made it back, but he was facing the wrong direction. That's unfortunate. Loses the first stock. Oh, he just crouches under the grab, but only gets an up tilt out of it. And yeah, Shesvishok is doing an amazing job at just not losing his stock before he gets a solid advantage on the next stock. Harry down tilt. Alright, that's how, it. what he's trying to do. He just F tilts twice. Because Ike's F tilt is also kind of a move that you can just throw out yes. sometimes when you really want to get that KO. But we, but we know that um, Meta Knight's parry down tilt works against Ike. Maybe it does, maybe it just was not quite on point, or it could have parried a little earlier maybe even. Uh, I don't know. He's probably going to go for it again because we, we saw him get the parry twice. So it seems like he's very efficient at getting it. Yeah, right now he's finally down and he's down a lot. 108 on Kirby, that's, that's quite a bit because Kirby of course some chewing, some chewing gum, chewing gum type shit that's gonna die soon. Yeah, nice down tilt to F smash. Works if uh, the down tilt trips, I believe. Wow, what a read with the up smash, but it's just not quite enough. And Shizu Shock following um, Ryuji up to the end of the stage. Then shielding. Oh, and he tried to pull him off stage with that ether and get the KO basically trade stocks. Oh, gets yes. him off stage again. Kirby does not have that good of a recovery, but he makes it back. He was actually at the 100% perfect height to still make it back. Yeah, this is going to be up there. Oh, but it doesn't, doesn't kill doesn't yet. Kill. What? That was stronger in Smash yeah. 4, but yeah. Not the best air dodge there by Ryuji. Gets punished for it with a back air. 74 on Kirby. That is a lot, but it's definitely still doable. And this is how it starts. Oh, but clean the eye gets out of there. Gets up aired for it. 90% on Kirby. Back air. Catchy. Wanting to call out the jump. Should be shot. Okay, Just here we go. Giving oh, him anything. That's so, for, so dumb to see when you have that multi-hits and they just don't work. Like, you, you would have a nice combo, you get a nice opening, but the multi-hit just doesn't work. Mm. Now we, did see, we saw the suck <laughs> from Kirby. <laughs> the suck. <laughs> and yeah, maybe yeah. if we can get him off stage, this could actually come in handy. If we can... Oh, that was close. That could have been it. If we can get enough timing yeah, on the ether, but yeah, yes. nice spacing with the F tilt. It's going to be it. He gets him. 1-1 one, one now. Between Ryuji and Shizusha.
Yes, sir. Yes, we are one at one. an even set count, 1-1 one, one between those two players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I gotta say, I'm, the more I watch, I'm just so impressed by Shishi Shok. Because you can see how hard this matchup has to be for Kirby. Yes, those little for sure. limbs of his yes. trying to challenge that big sword of Ike. And he's not even the fastest character as well. Mm -hmm. But he's making it work, he's making it very, very close. Mm -hmm. And he's making it entertaining. And we're going on Town and City. The counter pick of Just the Shock. Um, I'm guessing it's because he has a lot of stage here and can play more about with his ground options. Yeah, and I think his combo game uh, works very well on stage. Like with, uh, I think, forward air uh, combos into down tilts and stuff, so he maybe wants some room to play around uh, with that. The oh, back air. Clean call out with the back air and yes, that's quick I think stuff. that were like three or four aerials of Ryuji, but that was it. Yeah, Ryuji is playing this one very, very cleanly. Feels like he's abusing the match matchup a lot more, which is staying safe with his sword. Um, getting his combos, killing very early. And he's getting the second stock, and wow, now, right now we are three stocks to one. Finally gets a down tilt to F smash. <laughs> so the chat actually <laughs> rooting for it just be shocked. But yeah, he, he has to do some work here. Maybe try to start getting some edge guards. And there we see, oh. there we saw the interaction. That was cool, but it, I think he felt, uh, I don't think just we should wanted him to fall out, so it was mm -hmm. kind of only semi what he wanted. <laughs> just, you know, sometimes you just want to get sook from Kirby, <laughs> so you just chill out in front yes. of him, not do anything, wait. wait for him to have his food. Uh -huh. Yes, this is... I think Tresu Shock is about two to three aerials away from his death. Yeah. Or like two aerials at, at, at the F tilt. Yeah, now it's one aerial. Nair up air will kill. Yes. Even the back air. High up air will kill. Back air would have already killed before. <laughs> the F2. Waited so long for it. Gets the dash tag. Not the best DI, I believe. Tried to get the um, neutral B. But he didn't have the time to charge it. Go for it again, but. Yeah, an F tilt right now. This is danger percent. Gets a dash attack, not the best DI, but. Yuji makes it back still. And yeah, sir, the up tilt. 150 on Ryuji, but stock. still two stars. That was very. Um, He's now up 2 1. Yes. That was. Like, they were kind of going even in their interactions, but I think it's really the matchup that is showing here. Mm hmm. Same. I, th I think so too. It's really hard for Kirby yeah. against his worries. It's it's just he has to too play slow you. and doesn't have this, the um, range to get in quickly. When I played Just Be Shot, um, I always felt that he had to outplay me, yeah. go even or to win. And if he wanted to win, he had to read like two options of mine. Yeah, but he does That's it. Insane. He does it. Yes. He, had, he hit so many quote unquote random smash attacks because he just knows. He knows where you're gonna be. And he's confident in it. But yeah, doesn't really help him too much here because uh, Ryuji is doing a good job um, at also winning neutral enough and just a good matchup for him. He's going ahead with the lead right now. Okay, it's actually more even than before, but of course when your percents are even and you play Kirby, you're actually losing. 
because you are so light, but he gets the F-Smash on Bad DI. That was a rather early kill. He's up now, oh, but gets up there and almost dies already. Yeah, so... Okay, Nair up there is still alive. One more yeah, chance. Yeah, I thought that maybe on um, Town City would kill earlier. Or I thought that it would kill the Nair up there. No, right Town City has the highest ceiling. Has the highest? Oh, that was... That was my bad. Smash 4, Town and City was uh -huh. low. In Ultimate, yes. Town and City is actually one of the biggest. Uh -huh. Yeah, still, um, me being rusty <laughs> from Smash 4, I couldn't play Ultimate as much. We as got a I Smash 4 set up here. Play me. <laughs> <laughs> my fox still sick, my Diddy is sick. I'm not touching Sheik because otherwise I could never touch Sheik in Ultimate again. I played like one game and it felt so good. <laughs> felt so good. <laughs> and yeah, Shesby Shock is doing a good job here at keeping the lead. And down throw. Now in a jungle situation, yeah, he gets out easily in the scale. But yeah, his lead is slowly melting away now after keeping it very well. Um, one more F tilt is going to be it, I believe. If it is not all across stage. Mm -hmm. But one back air of Kirby will do it too. Yeah, sure. Up throw not quite. For that he needs to get around 130. As we saw before. Oh, but the back yeah, air. Call out on the jump. He's catching up. so many of those jumps. Goes for the down throw, 178. Gets the down throw, and that's a grab, and that's an yeah, up that's, throw. That's it. That's yeah, it. gets it this yes. time, that's a kill. That was a very nice follow up. Mm -hmm. And now we are at even stocks here, but for Just Be Shock, this could mean lights out here in this winner's bracket, but oh, he goes for something big! Okay, cannot find the kill, but he gets a big percent lead. Keeps it going, and we see a lot of uh, we see a lot of um, fares and nares from Ryuji in his disadvantage today because it's so easy to get out of oh them. No. Oh no! Oh. Firstly, he air dodged on stage, and I was mm -hmm. thinking that Chess Shock would see it and go for the F smash, mm -hmm. but he did not. But then he air dodged again, yes, dropped below stage, and could not recover. And we get a game five again. Yes, sir. Again, so this is the third game five. I would love to see Chess <laughs> Shock moving on. It would be very interesting to see him with Kirby in winners finals against against the Greninja. <laughs> There we have it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Lilith for game five. I have to say, I don't know where this counter pick comes from. Because I always thought that as Ike, you rather want. Ah, oh, he just thought he was going to the platform. Oh, that as this Ike, is, you don't want bad. too many oh. platforms. Yeah. Just with Shock missing his chance to go for the dare. Yeah. Yeah, but the dare would not have killed because he had this, it has barely any hit stun and uh, barely any knockback. But it would have still been some percent. Oh boy, and we're already in danger percent again for the little boy there. The little goofball. Yes. The next time the Yuji reaches reads a jump, it's going to be it. Yeah, the next back air, the next after. Wow, but that was a clean follow up. Landing forward. Oh, landing forward and you have so much was percent. unfortunate. Gets hit by the side B and of course he was dash attacking, he was holding to the right so he got the terrible, most bad DI. Uh, I believe that could have maybe even been an F smash or an up smash there. Up tilt, the back air, threatening with back air and up air. <laughs> Yeah, but he cannot do much in that situation, you know. That's the up throw onto the yes. platform, and it already killed so much earlier just because of that platform. Keeps the game even, uh -huh, but already gets up tilt again. Is in the air. Clean parry. Okay, gets a grab. Oh, but he falls out of his forward there again. What is this? Come on. 
cannot be that hard to program. It's an F forward air that works. Oh, the ice is kind of struggling to get anything started. Finally gets a pair. Does not get the tech chase though. Oh, that F tilt hurts every single time. And he's searching for it again. Both waiting. Are they actually... Yeah, they're concentrated. I thought they were yes. You can look at the player camp. Uh -huh. They did not move at all. Yeah, I think Ryuchi wanted to try and react. Oh, and Bat yeah. Guy again. He wanted to try and react on the normal get-up. Yes. Um. That's a nice mix-up I like Ooh. to see. Threatening with an aerial and then just going for the neutral beat. Clean back air. But he basically has to find the smash attack sometime soon. To keep this game close. Yeah, it's really, right now it's really just just shot kind of looking for a kill, but oh, what? That's it! What? <laughs> what was that? How light is Kirby? <laughs> there must have been terrible yeah. DI, like full up to <laughs> get the maximum LSI. Straight up with that the back hit. Uh, 70, 70? Past, post hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. That came out of nowhere, that KO. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was and pretty surprising. the game was just over. Oh, now we are going to see a very interesting matchup. Smuff versus Destiny. Destiny yeah. just coming off of his win against Switzerland's other potential number one, Severe Calamari. Um, while Smuff is coming from winner's side, of course, had an amazing run so far. Yes. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see if Mm -hmm. Destiny's just gonna tell him, you know, kid, you got some yes. bracket luck, I'm gonna beat you now from loser side. Or if s there is something behind that win round from Smuff, if he's mm -hmm. actually gonna beat Destiny here and move on to get into top four. And this is something we saw a lot in Smash 4. I think this is as much a classic as just we show Ryuji or a little bit less, because they only meet each other at major tournaments. Yeah. But it's still something we see fairly often. Yes, sir. And of course, um, both characters, we know them, um, Greninja and, <laughs> Interesting. and Meta Knight. Destiny decides not to sit on the amazing Jill Eraser gaming chair, but instead just takes a little folding chair. Yeah. <laughs> Classic top player. Smash Ball is their choice. Well, Smash Ball, I think... And maybe FD got banned? Probably. Nah, no, I, honestly, weird. FD is amazing for the two of them. For both, yes. But so is Smashville, kind of. Because with Greninja, oh, you can... Oh, we are going okay. to see the wolf, that's why. Okay. Yes. Three, wolf of Destiny. One. So, yeah, this is actually the first time we see um, Destiny's Wolf on stream. Yeah, I mean, it's only the second set we see him, so that's kind of yeah, understandable. But oh, but is he going off stage? No, yesterday, you know. Oh, yeah. Yesterday he wasn't going to be here. Okay. Yeah, maybe there's something about the Greninja matchup he does not like. In Smash 4, he used to beat those Greninjas with his little mech. <laughs> So if the wolf does not work out, I think Little Mac could be a possibility here. Oh, that could have been the up smash. But instead he gets back at now, he's very far off stage, makes it back. Oh, falls out of the F tilt. That was actually very, very clean corner pressure there by Destiny. Ah, uh, that down tilt would have actually, I believe, connected into an up smash, so that could have been it. And I think, um, as the chat said it, um, they are... Ah, uh, yes, it's not winner's same, nice wait. 
Loser's Quarters. Yeah, it's Loser's Quarters. Is what we are having here. The Swim Master is not a real monster. Play Wolf against Kepler. Ah, yes, right. I forgot about that. You play Wolf against Kepler. Kepler Snake. Nice shield poke there. Yeah, Smuff definitely wants to get a lead here on this stock before losing his own because he's at 150, but that's how he gets started. Nice stuff. And but the F tilt finishes his stock. Nice follow up there. That was actually kind of cute. But he gets grabbed for it. Oh, but Destiny messes up his combo. But at least um, Smuff is out of the range where Wolf can't do anything. Because Wolf actually can't do anything. Oh, what was Did that? I Whoa! Bro, chill! <laughs> Bro, chill! <laughs> he just went for yes. down throw into read down air <laughs> into the side two frame B. side B. What was that, man? Chill, Destiny. Mm -hmm. Don't go for too many side Bs, please. That's still a bad move overall. <laughs> But it was cool in that moment. <laughs> Let's give him that. <laughs> yeah, the F smash, calling out. He's calling out the shield grab from Destiny. But of course, you gotta know a lot of stuff in this game. It's just how to save on shield. Okay, he gets a little juggle here. Up there. Ah, oh, doesn't get the second up there. And suddenly, percents are even again. Oh, Destiny Charging was hard reading that spot dodge <laughs> there, but Smuff just shielded safely. Ooh, oh, that, that was, was actually a very clean air dodge read. Yes, but didn't quite properly connect it into his down tilt. Yeah, we're getting towards a lost hit situation here. On the first game. <laughs> Trading the track. Smuff is off stage. Yeah, I think up tilt will do it. Yeah, sure. Yes. But also a lot of stuff from Greninja would already do it. Oh, that was dangerous. Smuff actually grab. waiting for some other option. He wasn't ready for the spot dodge. Although he stood in shield. It's a dash attack, yes. Yes, dash attacks. Yes. One whiffs it, dash attacks the other way, hits yes. it, gets the first game. That's the first game. First game, yeah. Yeah, Destiny goes up 1-0 with his Wolf. That pick is working out, more or less. It was a very, very close game, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Still gonna see Wolf. Yes. Smuff could pull yeah. ahead at any given moment. We're going back to town and city. Oh, never mind. We played on Smash for the first one. So we are going to town and city here. I can see it very well. Probably final destination was banned because you never want to give Greninja a final destination. Oh, what a clean follow up, double forward there. And then FD, uh, no, never mind. Um, town kind of gives the FD wipe a little bit with a lot of space, a lot of room to play. The high there into fair, the rising fair, rising fair. Was, that was ballsy. That was really bossy to release shield there for a Oh, moment. Smuff doesn't get the weak nair there. Hits him with a mid, mid strong hit. But gets the forward there. Mediocre the eye, gets the first suck. And Smuff pulls ahead this time. Okay, so Jab not unsafe enough for the. F smash from both to connect. Oh, oh he calls very, out the double jump with nice. his up air. Yes. 
Goes back to even stocks here. This up air gives me the Smash 4 cloud feels sometimes. Yeah, definitely. When you are below him and he's go just going everywhere with his amazing speed uh, in the air. <laughs> just covering so much you cannot hit yes. it from up. It's hard, man. Just have to chuckle because of the um, double dash attack there at the left. Uh, from who? Because both of those players yeah, but are from, from um, Destin. Um, are definitely gonna double dash attack at some point. Wow, cuts the double dunk, double double jump. Gets the up air, but it does not quite kill yet. And but he's just happening. holding oh, the jab. Yeah. That's the Fox oh, Classic, the Smash 4 Fox Classic. You know, you just hold that rapid jab until they yeah. go anywhere near it. Yeah, oh, nice dash back up yeah. smash. Calling out Destiny's aggressiveness because he couldn't shield anymore. His shield was so so low. Calling out the jump again. Oh, the percent's a little bit too high to get the dash attack to up smash. Yeah, the back will do it. Destiny really fishing for it. The Nair is so unnecessarily strong, man. And Smuff shielding every little thing that yeah. Destiny throws into his face. And yes, that's sir, it. that's a down tilt up smash. Down Smuff two up. stocks Destiny for game mm -hmm. two. We are back to an even set count. And Smuff. Cryonic, Cryonic. So, where are we going? Okay, interesting pick Battlefield. I don't know why you will pick Battlefield with Wolf against Greninja, because Greninja can get some crazy conversions on Battlefield. Like, if you're on platform at the ledge, down tilt to drag down up air, to down tilt to F smash, shit like that. It's amazing. Um, but, of course, uh, obviously it's Destiny's pick, I guess. And yeah, there's the reason he's over there and I'm here. And that reason is because he's already 50% in the lead. Uh, yes, now he used the laser, but I'm not quite sure if he uses laser so efficiently like Sigurd Kalamari. That's something I noticed. Still cannot get that two frame. But he doesn't get hit at all right now. Like he got jabbed once and that was it. I think he's gonna be looking nice. for some up smashes, maybe some um, back airs. Now yeah, he didn't have a jump. He we saw some stuck. good lasers right there. The, these were the lasers I was, I was, um, want, I wanted to see. Oh, that's sad. He fell out of the up air. That would have been a very, very strong juggle. Up but yeah, bad dash very attack on shield. That gets yes. your up smash out of shield. Up smash. That's what you gotta do. So. So up smash is actually 30. Has the frame start. Has a start up of 13 frames. So, um, I think it shouldn't have connected on the dash attack of Smog. It did. But it still did. It did connect. Yes, but oh, yes, but it shouldn't have been punished by up smash. Okay. Because dash attack is minus 12. And oh. up smash is minus... Or F smash is frame 13. So maybe okay. Smog was pressing some button. But it wasn't shield. Maybe he was, he was trying to jab. Yes. But yeah, anyways, he gets it down to the forward there. We are back to even stocks. Yeah, as soon as uh, it feels like if Smuff is moving around, everything is fine. But as soon as he just is at any given point on the map for a little too long, then he takes damage. He has to stay mobile here. Yeah, nice. It, it's self trying to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Instead of trying to push through Destiny, he just goes high, goes to the platform, tries to find some other way, you know instead of brute for forcing it. Because he really needs throw. some space. Nah, that's this not gonna be it. Nah, close. But getting the laser, that's... Oh, that two frame low angled tilt. F tilt. Yes, that's what I like to Finally see. Finally gets the two frame there. Mm -hmm. I think 
I don't know how free it is to two frame three inch up B. I guess it really depends on the move you're depends. doing it with. Because low angled F tilt from Wolf is really good at catching those. And then it's probably gonna be pretty free, honestly. Because Greninja is really not that hard. Here we go, Smuff, Nair into platform oh. tech chase up smash. Almost gets it there. Yes. Oh man, Let's why go is this hit so strong? And I like it. I don't think it's that easy to hit the um, two frames sometimes in Smuff. It's because he um, actually mixes up his recovery with, a, with yeah. his Hydro Pump. So that's the part I think it's why we don't see it so often. And all the down smashes that Destiny couldn't hit before on the two frames were part of it too. No tag into dash attack. That lead for Destiny is getting bigger and bigger. Here we see Smoth. Smoth with the finally gets the forward there. there. Yes. And this now I want to see Smuff do some risky stuff. Like you think so? I, I hope want he does to save stuff. I I think even this I see cool is edge better. <laughs> no no no. <laughs> oh, oh, sad. That was not the best water shuriken. Yes. Gets back aired. No, what I wanted to say, like go for some aggressive edge guards, like <laughs> counter wolves up B to the yeah. spike counter. Well, I don't. I'm not sure about that because I think it's always better to play safe, even though you are so far behind. Yep. I think so. That's your fault, man. No. <laughs> like, you know how you can clutch out a game when you just counter <laughs> you just your opponent's smash. recovery, yes. and with fringe you can spike them yes. with the counter <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> like, first of all, it's hype as fuck, and it's si pretty safe, actually. But I don't know how well it works against Wolf, and I haven't seen um, Smuff try it even Shuff. once. Shuff. Oh, Smuff trying out the Hydro Pump. To yeah, he has to use the wind box there to yes. actually disrupt Wolf's recovery um, earlier. Oh, the down smash on the aggressive fair. And the little teabag. Like, friendly like, like, no offense, but the down smash teabag. really makes me want to go puke. That down smash is pretty hard. Yes. Pretty hard is a nice way to say <laughs> that it's stupidly strong, if we're 100% honest. Here we see Smuff go for a down tilt. But yeah, it was also a rather bad recovery by Smuff to be somewhere where he could get caught by that down smash. Because it was not a two frame, he just recovered too high. So it's really his fault. Really nice ledge pressure from Destiny, keeping it keeping it at bay. Oh, the little read. Oh, and the up smash. Gets the get up read with the up yes. smash. One more up tilt. Smuff still in the air. Mm -hmm. Dash the attack next dash here. attack. The momentum is going and for Destiny. Taking wow. it again, the two frame. Low and angle death tilt. Destiny still on his first stock with quote unquote only 100%. Yes, that's not. That's. Oh! That's it! That's it! He's going to take it! But how? And he ends it with a Why was three the, stock. The up what was happened? So what happened? The up we, was shortened. We need instant replays. What happened? Was what he happened? like under the ledge? Like there's an I edge there? Did he I get think did he just get one hydro pump from both? I'm not sure. No, you cannot just get one hydro yeah, pump. Yeah, that's why. I, that's what I thought too. Was he so low? I don't know what happened. No, he wasn't what? that low. Mm -hmm. I think he got caught under the ledge. Mm -hmm. That's the only way I can mm -hmm. explain it to me. That's we need instant replays. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ew! Are we sure? Yeah, I think you cannot miss the yeah. double up B with Greninja because even if you go full straight, it always goes for like both, you know? Uh -huh. It's never shorter. It doesn't get interrupted like that. It's not like it doesn't work like Pikachu's up B. Mm -hmm. It always has that yes. distance. But that's some way I didn't expect this game to Posti, be happening. <laughs> Yeah, and I th really think this is not what we all expected from this game. Um, although this is the second time um, Destiny actually edge guarded him that hard. 
Was? Okay. Mhm. Für was? Einfach Sponsoring? Ja, einfach Support. Sag ich Support. Okay. Okay. So, um, someone said he hit the joint on the other side of the stage. Okay, so yeah, you that's were what right I meant. Where the slant is, where the slant is, oh. it's possible to bong. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. I get it. I get it. Yes. So he was still actionable, but could not use special moves. Uh huh. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. region we are in Zurich, Switzerland. Yes. And I think. Yeah, exactly. You can move, but you cannot yes, up B. It's the same yeah. thing like the side like B of Like Lucario going or into Lucario, the stage. Yes. Or Pac-Man side B. Yes. Except you can still up B them, mm -hmm. but not side B anymore. Yeah, 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 I get it. Oh, that's yeah, unfortunate. That, yeah. And yeah, anyways, let's get into the next match. We're gonna see Kirby from Just We Shock. Falco, that's something Falco, I'd Falco, like to Falco, see. Falco, yes. Falco, Falco, let's go. That's also a matchup that is very, very doable for Falco, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Because the fair is very, very strong in just yes. kind of poking Kirby. And then later, uh, kind of. Yeah. Force but, tech chase situations. But um, Kirby is allowed to play more grounded in here yeah. because he can just crouch his lasers. Yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely not easy, but it's very doable. And as soon as Kirby is in the air, Falco can go ham. Like Kirby can't do shit against Falco's intercepting aerials. But then again, just we shock just goes for an amazing combo there, and almost kills D Freeze already. I, I'm just guessing that Chess Shock played Anragon before, the French Falco. Because this does not look like someone who does not know what he's doing against Falco. <laughs> he knows exactly what to avoid. Are we going to see some multi hits of, multi -hits of Falco miss? I think so. I don't know. Like Nair always yeah. misses like that. This isn't really a multi hit for that move. That okay, yeah. Clean spacing, baiting but that shield the grab. Kill, the kill before from Shesby Shock, the Nair into F Smash, that was really nice. Yeah. It's very well spaced. Uh, not the bad, perfect spacing on that up tilt, otherwise, he could have gotten that tech chase. Gets a triple up air. Oh, nice parry, parry. but nothing out of it. Up throw, back air, and suddenly he's very much in the lead. Like, he. Whatever worked for Shesu Shock before, it does not work right now. Finally gets a little opening, but it's only 30%. One more grab, down throw. Wow, this match is incredibly back and forth. Like, first Shesu Shock just had his moments where he just completely destroyed Deep Freeze. And then Deep Freeze just started turning it around and did not get hit at all for like one and a half stocks. Mm -hmm. And now it's Shesu Shock again. Dash attack up tilt, not safe on shield if, does, if not all hits connect. And that back air, that yeah. must have been. Must have been some. Uh, that sus the eye. Up, oh, up throw, throw up, up air. air. There are on actually. The as far as I know, there are windows where this kill confirms. There are even also windows where up throw back air can kill, for kill confirm at ledge, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's incredibly narrow. And uh, very, very hard to get. You have to be s very precise. And of course, Kirby is rather light, so that might help as well. And yeah, Dupreeze with a big lead here. Uh, uh, no, Shoshi Shock with a big lead here. Dupreeze kind of had his moment in the middle of the game, where he got a lot of, a lot of just going for himself. Um, oh, actually, I thought he would go for the down air here. Oh, but he doesn't need it, just goes it. for the back air, beats yeah. out the landing forward one there. Oh. One over oh, oh, for Shock. It started incredibly back and forth, but in the end, it was just Shesu Shock kind of doing what he does. And he does it incredibly well. Gets his nice follow ups. They don't do too much damage because it's Kirby, of course. Mm -hmm. And they're not that consistent because it's Kirby, and Kirby's forward there is shit. But he's still, it's just getting him so consistently, so many of them. Um, so many back airs. Yeah, these back airs really doing good and work for him. Very efficient at then also getting the kill. Oh man, <laughs> Defreeze kind of looks a little paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> he looked so scared, like, am I safe here? <laughs> and yeah, um, Shishu Shok is trying to make it not safe for him, and so far it's worked out pretty well.
Combo starts. Oh, but does he get the reset there with after the air dodge? Nice juggle. Oh, into the down air. That was actually re really, really close. That could have been a um, down air back air, but he missed it. So Shishishoku is still allowed to hang on here on this stock. Really nice of the freeze not going for the side B and just oh, clean going catch. Yeah, for going low is really, yes. really good. I kind of want to see Jesse Shock adapt and just beat out the stock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it looks so funny. <laughs> beat out the startup of Up B with his uh, own down air. But so far, wow. he's always been committed to trying to two frame with <laughs> the down smash. Oh, tries to read the roll in. But yeah, he <laughs> didn't really have. really low. Have you, have you seen them? Yeah. Man, could you please take off the mask? It really looks stupid <laughs> on Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only gets the weak back air. That would have been the kill confirmed there. On the back air, yes, that's Yes, it. catches the landing, doesn't get the high one. Kirby was a little bit too low, but goes for it again. On the F smash, immediately making it even again. That's what happened with the last stock too. Yeah, and we are now in a lost stock situation here in this game too. Ah, uh, gets the drag down Nair, but only goes for... Um, um, only goes for jab afterwards. Could have up tilted, but it doesn't really matter. He goes for a little low of back airs. Oh, I think that could have been a back air. Back air would have almost killed there already because Kirby is so light. <laughs> and again, nice. <laughs> come the on, grab. Me. And this is getting so close here. Really nice angle. I like that one. It's close on being um, pineapple. Last gets the back air. Nice. Was, in the end, it's really just a question yes. of who gets the back air first. Yes. Who is more efficient at finding it. And Kirby is a little weaker, but <laughs> the hitbox is oh so much bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Deep Freeze actually from the region Solo Tour in Switzerland, um, together with Wave. Sadly, he couldn't come. Um, but I'm sure he's making him proud. Yeah, and actually Deep Freeze um, was on a school camp last yep. week. And okay. he, yesterday he only slept like two hours because he came back from Amsterdam. The Smash Bros. Yes. Classic. <laughs> and then he was really destroyed. But he actually always plays really tired. So we didn't really expect um, any bad um, play from yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. But... Yeah, I think this time he could sleep some, hour, some hours more, and I think this helped him. Yeah, he's definitely playing uh, well. I mean, he's guaranteed fifth right now, mm -hmm. and uh, it's 1-1 one, one in this set. Oh, man. Why am I so tired? I actually slept very, very well. Oh, man, I do not like the stage, but it's in our rule set, so what you gonna do? Oh, double back air, interesting. Get some off stage. <laughs> I get it why he wants that stage. Because on the one hand, he can hide below the ledge, like just crouch there. A lot of things are not gonna hit you. And on the other hand, if he charges down smash there, it's probably hella easy to hit something. Lean up till to back air. Yeah, he's really abusing that latch very, very well. I like it. Back air, yes, that's going to be it. Really nice reaction on the um, hammer pull from Kirby. 
Yes, so this is not... Yeah, they're, they're making it even. And Deep Freeze really shown that he can take it back from the early um, death he had. Yeah, but... Yeah, they're kind of going even, but then the stage just helps just to show so much. I don't even think it's just the matchup where the stage is amazing for Kirby. Like, it's good, but... I think it's amazing it's for Kirby because of the slants. Yeah, but it's also, I think, just... Um, Deep Freeze doesn't know any counter play against it. Maybe there is none, but he, does, he doesn't know what to do against it. Mm -hmm. He cannot challenge him while he's standing there. He doesn't know what to do. Yeah. He doesn't know how to approach. A very nice small roll read of Shrizzy Shop. Clean laser there. <laughs> very clean. And he no. catches the high side B and gets the yes. two stock. What a nice read. 2-1 now. Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> these stages are no. Actually, that's fine with me. Like but giving bad characters a, an advantage on some stages. Why not? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that should have one hundred percent right. been a ban. I think, yes. but he didn't know. He mm -hmm. didn't know. We even have two bans, as far as I know. Yes. So two we bands, can ban but both nine stages. slanted stages. And DSR, but nine stages. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see less stages, uh, less bands, and full DSR. But, anyways, back to the match. Clean little combo there. Oh, come on! Deep freeze! He has to watch out for his recoveries, man. He's not recovering clean. Oh, this was close. Of being yeah. Down there. Finally, get something. So it's really scary because just. Shock is really proficient in those kills. Do you know why Deep Freeze is going full Falco? Did it just say he's going full Falco? No, or he dropped. He dropped full. Oh, okay. Yes. Since when? Um, I think some and weeks why? ago. Um, I thought. I think he said it was too simple. That just Yo. killed at 120. Man, Deep Freeze, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work out your stage picks. Honestly, I, I just go FD or something where. You, you're safe, you know, where you know what to yes. expect. You don't need those platforms. Where you don't get down smash that ledge and die at 60, where you don't get up thrown at 120 and die. <laughs> and this and yeah, really, slams. Falco, I don't like the stage as Falco overall. I hate it. Because it's the only stage where you cannot reach the top platform with one full hop. Or at least the only legal stage. I don't know if it's possible on Dreamland. But on Battlefield, on Town and everywhere, you can get to every platform yeah, with one full hop. Here, you cannot. But again, props to Shusuke Shock, knowing all the little things about these stages yeah. and every detail and actually memorizing it. And there we have he it again. He dies at 100 to up Yo, throw! Shusuke Shock really showing us he's proficient in those stages and getting the, the grabs and these percentages he wants them to have. And yeah, finally he gets the first stock off, but like... Yeah, really, I think that's just his own stage choice, biting him in the ass. Because he didn't know, he wasn't ready for it, I don't know. That's very unfortunate, and oh, jab lock, F -smash, jab -lock, F -smash. down tilt, down tilt, well played. Very, that's, that was sick from this mission. Yeah, it was really just switch to uh, deep freeze counter pick, picks the mm -hmm. stage, and <laughs> Jesse Shock must have been there like, yeah, he was. Must have been there like, uh, okay, we can go there if you want. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, right now, before we move into top four of this tournament, one, we're going to have two. a short break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, um, um, So let us give a big, big shout out to mm -hmm. World of Games, VOG.ch, for supporting this tournament. Uh, big shout out to Boshti and Hard Read, of course. Give it up in the venue for Boshti, the main guy for the stream <laughs> and overall main guy for this tournament. Yeah, thank uh, so you yeah, now for we're gonna have. Um, a and short five, five minutes, minutes. Yeah, five, five minutes, minutes maybe break, ten minutes yeah. break. I gotta get something to eat, a little smoke. See you later, guys. Next to reset, get smash fear. Maybe some side event. Maybe a main event. Who knows?
Das ist schon sage ich, ja suche, Alter. Ich brauche einen Kommentar, das fängt jetzt an. Das ist schon meines. Irgendjemand, mir egal. Sonst mache ich und sage einfach nichts. Okay, so um, welcome the back to our stream. Um, right now we got um, winners. Is it winners finals? Yes. I think so. Yes. Um, Alexiao against Ryuji. Actually, a non-Swiss um, grand winners finals we have here. Um, Ryuji from Strasbourg and um, Alexiao from. I'm not sure which re region he's from, but um, I think around Paris. If I recall correct. And yeah. This will be really interesting. Greninja against Ike. Mm, again, I think Ike will struggle a little bit more to hit Greninja because he's so low profiled. Um, on the other hand, um, Greninja actually wants to approach more with Ariel, so um, Ryuji got a little bit better time landing his own aerials with his sword because he beats his aerials. Um, so I think this is a point where this is an aspect where I could profit from. Um, yeah, and I'm not sure which stage. Uh, my guess before I see it is oof, Smashville. Oh, and it is Smashville. <laughs> <laughs> nice, okay. I begin this game with a read. And we go on with the damage, and we are at 46%. Just from a little combo, 60%, nearly 60% from Ryuji. Really going for him right now, but Greninja isn't far away from his own 40% combo. Yeah, there he is. Oh, that's a really nice use of... Hydro Bomb, this is really something I would like to see um, more in this matchup. Um, to Hydro Pump the Psyche or the Uppy. Yeah, whoa, <laughs> there we see <laughs> Ryuji really going at it. Yes, this is so proficient of Alexiao to force these high Psyche recoveries. Without Psyche, yeah. This is going to be crucial in this match matchup. Well, not crucial, but it gives actually Alexia a better point. But here we see Ryuji taking the first stock unexpectedly. Yeah, but now we're even again making it out. This winner's finals seeming a bit more interesting than I thought. And he lands again on stage, the mix up again. The mix-ups we saw against Chuck. Does he have a jump now? Oh! He makes it back! Alexiao didn't really... I don't know if his Hydro Pump was well spaced, but it should have killed him. Ether out of shield. Really good out of shield option. Up air, up air. Not, doesn't get the second up air. But here we are! With a big read call out, but he missed it, whiffed it on shield. Or, no, he didn't whiff it. <laughs> he hit his shield, uh huh. 
Yeah, like Xiao making Ilu instead, but he still has a stock more than Ryuji. This will be hard. Another offstage situation. This can be a again a high recovery of Ryuji, a forced one. Up air. Really nice. Two empty hops into one. Landing there into up air. That's some stuff we want to see. There, another one. Calling out the jump. Up air, really good from Greninja. A surf's like the ball, yeah, and that's it. The, the Shuriken actually snipes um, Ike out of his out of his path. Yeah, and now we can get our second commentator too. Agrafox will come soon, or he is here right now. What a dick move of y'all to start with Army. Um, actually, I think Smuff can take over for me just uh -huh. for your three games and then I'll replace you um, so I can eat quickly. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay. And can call him. Oh. Yeah, He's call him next time. Later. Yeah. So I'll just eat right now. <laughs> so yeah, that was a clean game for uh, Alex Yao. He did some really good stuff. Um, Ryuji also got some nice conversions, but he. Um, kind of got. Um, he was forced into situations where he could get punished too much. He couldn't really set up his own stuff enough. And that's something that I kind of struggle with because he doesn't really have the frame data to contest a character like uh, Greninja. Another back air. Yeah, and this is really difficult for Ryuji, yeah. the upstage situation. Especially with the snipes and forcing always the high side B. One thing I'd like to see Alexia uh, see do some a little bit more uh, is to go for actually the high snipes mm -hmm. to already interrupt the charge of the side B. Because usually the Ikes jump and then charge side B, right? And if you manage to intercept it there, they're basically dead. But he's always waiting to basically force him to go high, uh, but he cannot punish high um, quite as efficiently uh, if he just charges it. But he doesn't really have to right now because we see him have a full stock lead again. Uh, he's doing clean work. <laughs> Carrying the hydro pump. The hydro. I like the hydro pump usage there to push back. The opponent wants to let trap. And actually, one funny thing about Hydro Pump, I don't know if this already was in Smash 4, but it does damage actually. Like, not much, but mm -hmm. getting hit by the wall <laughs> does damage. It's not just a wind box. And now he air dodged, jumped, side B. Oh, he still max it. It's really Queen nice. spacing space. on the side B, yeah. getting the maximum range with the minimum charge. Making it back just one more time. But he's still at a big deficit. F throw, my kill, no, not quite. Recovers high again, has to. And back throw should. Oh, never mind. No, F throw is the strong one. Back throw also kills, but not quite as well. But yeah, we're now at percent where even up throw will start killing for Greninja. Yeah. Greninja really just out here with basically three kill throws. But Ryuji hanging in. Yeah, again, grab. That's his third grab in a row. Will it be a back air and F tilt? F tilt. Yeah, Ryuji finally got off that first stock, but he really has to figure something out here. Try to lock Greninja a little more in place so he can set up his Nair pressure. But it's so hard because Greninja is one of the most um, agile characters in the whole game. He's never where you want him to be.
that was some very clean pressure there. Let's get some good damage. Double Nair into forward there, 88% now, oh, and he gets the SF Yes, that's air. going to be it. 2-0 for Alex Yao. Clean stuff. Yeah. That was a two stop, right? Mm -hmm. First one as well, but with a lot higher percentage, I believe. Yeah, Ryuji really has to figure something out here. Mm -hmm. And Alexia is running away with this. Yeah, the game starts off very similarly here with a lead for Alexiao. Yeah, and this time he tried to cover high with the uh, Water Shuriken. Got it once, but could not get it twice. Um, nice patience by Ryuchi to keep his double jump. So he still had some options to get back, even if he got sniped once. The counter being so, lo so long active. It's actually really um, frightening because Ryuji actually um, slowed down his F tilt. There, no up there. I like the wait there by um, Ryuji because he realized that um, the up air afterwards was not quite true because it was a little slow on the second Nair. But sadly, he couldn't profit off of it, couldn't get um, the punish on the air dodge that came out from Elixio. Oh, I love the aggressive option there. Just hitting him out. I throw, he's off stage. Okay, manages to go low. But just gets fared anyways. Yes. That fair is so insanely strong. Out of shield up for that up there. And yeah, that up there is actually kind of a nice um, kind of an option setup. Because if you do not hit it, you can just retreat and grab latch where you have invincibility again. But yeah, it kind of started similar. Even beginning, but then Elixir just pulls ahead. And this time Ryuji not going high. Oh, side. he falls out of the last hit, doesn't get the strong hit. I think this might have even KO's. Fair. Yeah, it's really impressive that Alexiao actually brought this even again. Only 0.3% difference. Uh, no, sir. There is yeah, a yeah, yeah, but difference. yeah, yeah, but even in sense of percentage. Aha, yeah, yeah. So Elixir just doesn't zero. die. Yeah, he doesn't. Ryuji really cannot yes. find the kill until yeah. he finally does with that up again. This time the final hit connects. Oh man! Oh, Come on. the little walk in and out. I think he was just waiting for the shield for the to get fair. small enough yes. to be able to shield poke it. Oh, nice F. Uh, not F. Uh, two frame. Word I'm searching. But he couldn't quite profit off of it. Yeah, Ryuji down 2-0. Now on his winner's bracket stock, he has to find something big quickly. Oh, <laughs> that's going but to instead, Elexiao finds yes. something big with a miraculous edge guard. Triple back air. And was even ready afterwards with the water yeah. shuriken to cover even mm -hmm. more options. So with that, I that think I'm, I'm done with commentating. Yeah, Smuff is going to come up. And is going to replace me, so thank you all for watching. Thanks Enjoyed for commentating it. with me. Yeah. Good shit. Thank you for you. Shoutouts to Arctic Gaming Danger Noodle. <laughs>
All right, all right. Here is Salty Smuff joining Agrofox in order to get that casting going. How are you doing, Agrofox? I'm doing good. Yeah? <laughs> Made my way into top four in my own ways. In your own ways? Yeah. And commentating, you mean? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's definitely the home of the... Uh, I mean, when you suck, you, you still can commentate. That's pretty good. I'm find, find where you can exceed and go there. <laughs> go full force there. Good stuff. And how find are you enjoying the stream, guys? Some uh, quite crazy games going on. I've enjoyed uh, watching Sever Calamari versus Destiny a lot. I've enjoyed that Destiny dance so much as well. And, uh, and well, we... The, the only heartbreaker for me here is that we have a uh, French winners finals at the biggest Swiss major, so that's that's tough. I mean, right now it's three out of four people, only French left, basically three yeah, out of four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's the moment that's where me. everybody in Switzerland just Gotta roots come for together. Uh, yeah, come together and roots for their boy. Yeah. My insanity destiny going for the rematch against the Je Suis Shock from exactly. Team Oplon. Um, do you know their set count in their first set? Was it 3-2? Yeah, it was 3-2. Okay. Um, I watched the entire set and basically what happened it was uh, he went Meta Knight and absolutely got destroyed in the first game. Like It was a JB3, right? Uh, second game That's he went... That's canon. I'm sorry? That's canon. That's... Canon. Ca canon? Meta Knight getting destroyed by Kirby. Oh yeah, <laughs> alright. Uh, and, th and then the second game he went for Little Mac. Yep. Some, with some weird thinking he actually thought it was a good idea. Uh, basically... Uh, he, told, he, he got a few good reads, like uh, as in uh, Jesse Shock wasn't ready for the matchup and, and had, was out dodging way too much, which allowed him to yep. uh, put in some a few punches. But that wasn't enough. He was down 2-0 and then came back two games with, with the uh, Meta Knights. Oh, Meta Knights, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Because he, he could really, really chase Kirby off stage, which is strong, yeah. right? But yeah, Kirby's afterwards recovery is actually surprisingly bad for right. the amount of jumps he has. Because right, he's right. so slow, exactly. his up B is very interceptable. Exactly, exactly. And, and, and Destiny does a very good job at intercepting it. But, 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 what we're seeing more from most of these sets, I mean, the, what we've seen from the most of the sets was uh, Je Suis Shock finding these neutral exchanges in his favor and just comboing Destiny to 60% every time he will hit him. But Destiny now, uh, with uh, some combos of his own, 60%, what can Je Suis Shock answer? Yeah, just a bait with a forward smash right afterwards. That's pretty good. That's that's what we want to see from a Kirby. I mean, I'm not sure we want to see anything from a Kirby. We're not expecting much, but that's good. I like it. And yeah, that's really kind of just what Chess Shock does. He just wins neutral over and over again. That's crazy. How do you even win neutral with that character? It's just, just a hard read every single time. Every, every time. Every it time. really feels like that. Oh, like, it felt like that against Ryuchi. When they were just doing their things, Ryuchi was winning. And he always had to get a hard read to get anything done. Right, right, right. All right. Another hard read, like you said. So, like, uh, Destiny wanted to, you know, oh, oh Jesus, clean. down there Follow to up. back here. Yeah, why not? Why not? For sure. And Jesse Shock, uh, through that dash attack, puts Destiny in a bad position and just capitalized on it. And, and now it's already 53% ahead on that second stock. The Dimensional ah, Cape giving so much uh, mileage a little bit to Destiny. Antsy. Yeah, yeah. A little bit antsy with that down air to continue the edge guard, continue the pressure because he already got 50% out of just one stray hit that started it all. Right. Um, get punished for it by Destiny's signature move. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, with the Severe Calamari, I think he hit like 12 of them. Like, yeah. no, I'm not kidding, 12 of them, somehow. Even at 50% when it would not kill. We just, oh, that looked like a lot. Maybe it was too high of a percent, I don't know, but... Uh, I don't think it was... Oh, no, never mind. I was looking at the wrong percents, but yeah, yeah must have been too high. <laughs> right, right, right. Might have been too high, because uh, that's how he actually clutched the yeah. last set out. It is so strong. It is so... Uh, the that F smash is just so incredible. Yeah, yeah, look at strong. that! Look at yeah. that, he exploded! He just... There's no lead, uh, Meta Knight in the game anymore. And being able to get that jab lock out of just one missed tech into... The F smash, that is incredible. It is, it is. To make it actually kill confirm and not just get damage off of it. Mm. And so early at the latch kills about a maybe 60, 60 Oh yeah. yeah, another dimensional cape. Just the classic. Shock. Yeah, not being aware, even though it's the third time he's been hit by that already. Just Shock needs to be aware of that, needs to be positioning himself uh, uh, carefully when, when it comes to... Uh, to kill percents and oh okay okay he knows how to position himself when it's about racking the percents though just like that with a few tilts and a back air 59 percent on destiny already destiny answering with a forward hit of his own just to shock uh with a strategic forward smash i guess it kind of looked like a misclick but i mean it worked so why not now destiny needs to find an opening and push it because else it's just just to shock uh 
he, he will put him in this kind of situation over and over again until he can kill him. Just like that. Oh, okay. Up tilt to up, uh, more damage. Basically, any smash, any back air from yeah. Justice Shock will kill. Maybe yeah, even dash attack at this, at this point. This situation is incredibly dangerous for Meta Knight because before, when Kirby was like at 30, I thought, yeah, all, all's fine for Destiny because he can just get a ladder. But now the potential oh, are a little high, but he just but reads the, the yeah, jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is best skill option for Meta Knight by far in any Smash Brothers game. And uh, if you. In this game, you do not get that many uh, confirms into mm. that. Yeah, just like uh, in Smash 4, where you could just dash attack up air and you get that. But if you if you don't throw or if you dash attack and you see that your opponent is not aware of not he's, he's not taking, away. Yeah, not, not being very just careful about one, you you throw the up in and that's an easy start versus Kirby. He died at 70. Yeah, he died Kirby's at so light, it yeah. jumps, so he's even higher. Right. I mean, gets him all the way up. Smart very stuff by yeah. overall. Yeah, solid stuff by uh, by. Uh, uh, Destiny here yeah. showing that uh, Je Suis Shock is not the only one who has some clutch when it comes to it. Absolutely. All right, up tilt, double up tilt, and the back here, yeah, 35%. And now some pressure on the edge. The forward they will catch Destiny trying to get a back there. Now, okay, cover. I like I like the way he covers stuff as well. Like uh, he will go for a lot of coverage and also some for some. I, I, I'd like to say frame traps. I don't know, just some baits by, by coming on the ground. Landing on the ground with a very low move and, and throwing the uh, all the up tilts and all this the, the good stuff from Kirby. Yeah. All right, Destiny trying to catch him with the back air. Got him so much mileage in the last set, but uh, have, hasn't connected one just yet. Just shock standing too far from him to actually get hit by those. The dash attack. We talked about the dash attack just before. This is what yeah, he can uses do. the dash attack very well to catch oh, those dash away F smashes. But Destiny catches the start of a fifth. Oh, clean F tilt. Wow, Damn. that kills. I didn't know that move killed. Damn. Yeah, it definitely does, but usually not that early. I'm not sure it's even a DI thing. Oh. And the forward smash as an answer. Just re shock with the equalizer. All right, that's a dash attack. Can Destiny take it a little bit further? No, just re shock with a nice bait with the, uh, the jumps. A parry on the get up attack will allow him to get a, a few percents more. <laughs> just spamming up kills at this point. It is working. I love it. Triple forward tilt. Yeah, I mean, that's been a thing for a long time against fast fallers. You can just up tilt. Uh, up tilt yeah, you, you have to respect tilt 40%. It, yeah. If you have a very that, strong anti air. Absolutely. I think that's one of the things Ooh, the, the thing that out. makes uh, the, this matchup kind of difficult for Destiny because I. Oh, the forward smash connecting? Just like that. He, he likes to be on your face. Nice. Right? And the he back air, obviously. Hit. Yep, yep, yep. Just to goes out there. I like it how he goes out there. Shows he's confident. And he knows where he. If, Against Kirby, you gotta get those early stocks because he's so light, he has the bad recovery that can be intercepted so well. And also, Destiny with Little Mac, uh, Meta Knight has those jumps to go off stage, mm. to go for follow ups, to risk it kind of. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, it's not even a risk that much against uh, Kirby. You're just exploiting something Kirby yeah. cannot do anything against, right? And now, Destiny with a 64% lead on that last talk. Close the stock, obviously. And the up smash! Just Plus, shock no with more the stock. One more hard read on the landing. Love it! Finds love the it. smash attack. The, the, the presence of mind of this player is absolutely nuts. He just understood where Meta Knight was going to land and after which jumps. Like, yeah. He also has many, many jumps, but oh, the up pairing to up. He will and definitely he take it. it. And Never and mind! Oh, He's oh. still alive. Ooh, just barely manages to flow back to the ledge there. Okay, and now it's just a shock turn to uh, turn out the heat. But Another up B out of shield. Doesn't get it yet. Just to shock now, oh, trying but to he's survive. forcing him off stage. Okay, he actually makes it back. Yeah, yeah. The down smash, yeah, the, the uh, classical spot dodge down smash from Meta Knight. Just to shock with a clutch, clutch, oh, yeah, dodge to the edge. Destiny coming back, finding the shuttle loop in order to put some pressure and some damage. And nice, nice parry into down tilt. This and is something we've seen. It. And the back air, obviously, it's taking it. My insanity, Destiny up 2 0 against the player who sends him to losers. And yeah. what a convincing win! I really like his edge guards. He's not kind of he's not going for hard reads. He's really just bit by bit exploiting yeah. the lack of options, um, taking w away one after the other. Like you're going for that, I'm gonna soft cover that. Just hit you out again. And yeah. You're going for that. Okay, this time I'm just gonna hit you out again. I don't have to kill you. At some point you're gonna die because you can't do anything yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, and that and that's basically what you want to do against yeah. a character that's not so good in Smash Brothers. Yes. In any fighting game, really. You, you gotta identify Exactly. You identify the weaknesses and you, you turn it down to science. How exactly. to exploit them. You just 
What, what, what makes him bad is that if you push him to a certain limit, he does not have that many options anymore. And that's basically what he's doing, and he's doing it wonderfully. So now we're going for Game 3 on uh, Final Destination, which I know uh, my uh, Destiny likes a lot as, as Meta Knight, obviously. But uh, let's see if Just Free Shock can turn up the heat and, and find these amazing combos he was about to eat Destiny with uh, in that first set they played. And yeah, Just Free Shock is kind of the, the opposing uh, thing as a player. Um, defying all science and just saying he knows what the opponent is going to do. Mm. It doesn't matter what options they have, I will pick the right one. Which is why he gets so many of those quote-unquote stray smash attacks. Oh, Ooh, everybody was expecting more lag. Long. Yeah, everybody was expecting yes. some lag on that side B. Just to shock two. Fortunately for him, that's going to be shielded and Destiny uh, is able to take more, more, more advantage from that one. But nice down there, up tilt, up air. Oh, he's in the lead. He's trying to find a way to catch Destiny's uh, landing. Not putting himself at risk. Finding two backers now. Destiny in a difficult position. Can he come back? All right. Now it's a let's trap situation. Finally dodging the dimensional cape and just re shock back to that. No, never mind. Never oh, mind. but he still hangs on. Yeah, okay, that's nice. The eye. Oh, but just the up B there. Absolutely. The shuttle look will destroy just re shock stock there. Destiny at incredibly high percent, but still on his first stock. Let's see if he can man manages to land. Okay, can land, but gets yep. nared, and then nair kills. Must this have been this some sus the eye. This is a low tier nair, by the way. That's a very low tier nair. I know, I know Salzburg peeps always joke around because they know, they know there's something about this character that's absolutely not low tier. But this is only just a shot playing, really. So yeah. how can we make the case for this character not being so bad? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's go back to that game. Just Shock trying to prove again and again that his character can do damage. But Destiny there with his sword of his might, almighty sword. Let's take back stage control. Yeah, right now it's kind of the opposite thing. Um, the slow character is following up on mm, love it. the other one and exploits, uh, gets all his resources finished until he has to land with an air dodge, gets f smash for you. Absolutely, absolutely. Just a shock with uh, uh, some adaptation of his own. All right, back uh, Destiny putting Just a shock with very few, few... Uh, oh, that oh. might be death! If he finds it down, no, never mind. No, it's, it's Meta Knight we're talking about. You do not keep Meta Knight in the Smash Brothers game. Yes, sir. All right, there's going to be a forward there. More damage on Destiny, last stock of the game. All right, the up tilt. Wow, oh. they caught the roll. <laughs> I think it caught everyone off guard. Nobody was ready for that one. Maybe just to shock. Except just to shock. Oh. Okay, oh, okay. Too high percent for the Absolutely, lock again. Yeah, that would have like that. That been the game, actually. Wow. Yes, yes. No questions asked. The forward smash kills so early. Oh, and now Destiny finally uh, finding an answer to the up smashes on the uh, on the landing. Just baiting it with uh, a jump more and uh, and landing it afterwards. All right. Down tilt, more pressure, more aerial pressure coming from Jushi Shock. I like the way he does it, but oh, the back air will catch yes, Destiny off guard. And now Jushi Shock with a convincing lead of uh, convincing That was a game strong, strong yeah. turnaround yeah, after yeah, yeah. being down 2-0. I mean, um, goes to FD, a stage that Destiny really likes, kind of a strong stage for him. And just two stocks. That's it, that's it. That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, want, you, want, you, want, you want to take my low tier to a science? Well, let me show you why he's not low tier. Let me show you that back here. You may understand my character, but I understand you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I know what you're going to do. He's, he's, yeah, he's and Kirby has the strong smash attacks to exploit that. If you get that those reads, you can kill at 60, 70. Right, right. But more than just smashes, because the hard reads we're talking about, that's obvious. Uh, just Shock is very good at, at getting them. But something you, you do not... Uh, it's a little bit more subtle, but he will go for pressure uh, with down tilts and shields yeah. and stuff like that. And, and he will just read the defensive option that the opponent is taking. If he lands on you with a down air and starts up tilting and you're like, most of the people, the smart people, would just go like, yeah, I'm shielding that shit. I'm not, I'm not even trying to challenge because I know I'm taking a lot of damage. Then the second time he comes in with, with a dare, he's coming to grab. He's grab. He's yeah. grabbing. And you start jumping. He will go with that forward air. He will just, and every time he adapts, he adapts and, and, and it makes it so hard to challenge the character, really. You do not want to get hit, and Just Shock finds this hit. Let's see if uh, this Final Ooh. Destination will uh, give him the edge once more in that matchup. Finally gets grabbed first, opening there into the up smash. The bread and butter. Good dash attack trading there. 
Down yeah. smash, yeah, Destiny is going for stray hits at the moment. He's just uh, not challenging Joshua Shock with uh, too many uh, overextensions, let's say. He just, he just wants to chill with stage control and, and slap him in the face. All right, yeah, just like that. Dimensional Arcade to get back stage control and then he goes in. Oh, what can he do? Okay, doesn't get the biggest tilt? punish, just an F tilt. May, might have been a misinput for an F smash. Might be, might be, I don't know. Okay, the Nair will put Destiny punished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he tried to read the way Destiny was about to land, but smart stuff by Destiny being able to... Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. I'm not sure it's even, you know, useful, but <laughs> he's actually trying it the actually move just to actually might go. be, because uh, it beats oh! up a lot, of, a lot of hits, so maybe he can just catch a low recovery with that tornado. Oh, can we take a second to talk about that forward uh, that out of smash? It was just raw. It was just like, I'm... <laughs> nobody knew. Even even Destiny didn't know he was about to roll that, but Joshi Shock knew it was there. It was crazy. Anyway, uh, Joshi Shock taking that stock. Destiny trying oh, to find the kill, punish. clutching okay. it out, but it's not working just yet. Destiny now in a ledge trap situation against a very very scary and spooky uh, <laughs> Kirby. Uh, the dash attack will connect the uh, down B from Joshi Shock, putting in him uh, in a scenario he knows very well. Shot a little of shield will not F be enough. Smash. Yeah. Doesn't try to go for a follow-up where he could maybe get a tech chase into an F smash or even a jab block. Oh, he's trying but to. just goes for the raw F smash there as a punish. Okay, Destiny is so <laughs> scary, man. So scary. He's and just jumping around there like, I, I want to get down, but how? Help me. Right. Maybe and I think FD is not the right pick. Maybe some Might platforms be. to just move around because he has such an amazing mobility, especially compared to Kirby. Like, Kirby cannot get on those platforms yeah. in the same time as he can. So All he right. can have used that to land because landing yeah, is a big struggle absolutely. for him right now. Because that, 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 that's the bad thing against Kirby is that even if it throws an up smash, you're not punishing it for it. You're yeah. landing and, and then you're resetting the neutral. That's your win, right? So you you might be better off just landing on a platform and trying to reset from there, right? So anyway, uh, Destiny, Destiny with a strong answer so far. He's working uh, on the comeback, gets yep. a nice follow up, and 77%. That's definitely danger percent for Kirby. That's gonna be a neutral air. Up the other shield will do it. Back air will do it. Oh, but doesn't get the back air. Both retreat to ledge. Both make both make it back. Mm, nice spot touch, but another grab coming from Zusu Shock will allow him to up throw. That's not gonna be enough to take that stop, but it's so much closer than at the beginning of the game. The dimensional cape. She's coming in. Yeah. Not connecting though, and Zusu Shock with the strong punish. The up throw connecting and finally taking that stop. And the oh, shots are loop up, up air. To yeah, up the B gets the stock, and we are at, an, at a completely even game. I love, Destiny I love trying the to finish out this set, get his revenge. I, on I Jesse absolutely Shock, the only player who loved him. the up air call out on the jump. Yeah. I, it was crazy stuff. Destiny knowing what was about to happen and really spaced it very well in order to get that shot loop. But afterwards, yeah, just like that, taking 77 percent already. Just stuck with the crazy, crazy pressure and, and the up smash again. Ooh. Uh, for Watchmatch Almost. not connecting, no punish though, so Destiny is back on his back foot, trying to find just a uh, just an opening. He wants an opening in order to push his advantage, but I think this nothing. is prime percent for a ladder if he can get one. But then again, like it's just one smash attack mm. away. Dash attack's gonna start attack. killing soon as well. Yeah, the, the back air is air. connecting, and that's gonna be a two-two, very a very tense set between those two competitors. And what a comeback! What yeah, a yeah. comeback just from the shot. One second, not ready for it. Just kind of chilling out up, up on ledge and just because ready comes in yep. with the back air, yep. gets the game, and now we're in a 2 2 situation. This could just be a quick reverse 3 0 for Shesui Shock. Oh. Destiny was so close. I yeah. know he would, he does not want this. I, he I, wants I, I to win this rematch. Oh, yeah, he really wants. And I think he scared me, he spooked him enough so that he ran away. <laughs> what just happened? He's got to take a fear piss. Okay, okay, why not? All right, all right, Shesui Shock makes that to people. Right. <laughs> It's this kind of guy, you're not ready for the Kirby. Kirby with the kind of the villager mood, <laughs> so cute but so brutal. Yeah, man. I love it. Like It's kind of spooky as well, like when, when he... Uh, uh, do you even, how do you even... Or how, when he inhales Meta Knight, oh, yeah. he's got yeah. that <laughs> weird two wings That there, emo just team. Like, yeah, kind of like an <laughs> emo teenager <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> vibe. <laughs> Low-key, kind of. Low-key, very <laughs> All right, let's see if Destiny can... Um, can take another game of the Emo team that is Kirby with the uh, Meta Knight mask. Destiny just went to take a fair piss. And now we're back to the game. Game 5. Release some pressure. That, yeah, release some pressure. Maybe Definitely play needs now a little uh, meditating. Freer. 
meditating just a bit. Uh, I understand that you you very much need some a lot of patience when yeah. you play against Kirby. Like we said, you you don't really want to challenge him and start trading in the zone where he can up tilt you, or basically any tilt you. You'll just you do not want to. So you need to be able to stand back and find the right dash attacks. So Destiny just taking a deep breath, going yeah. to the toilet real quick. And now we're back to Final Destination. Joshu Shock opening the festivities with a 36% lead already. And yeah, that's something against low tiers which needs so much uh, patience because they know what they can do and what they can't. Right. And they are just patient because they have to wait for their openings. And then mm. when you don't want to trade, you have to, you have to have that mental fortitude to basically keep up with their patience. Damn, that forward smash oh, almost killed Oh, that was some suspect DI, but yeah. he still hangs on. Something just Shock is starting to do uh, as well. He knows that Stanley likes his uh, out of shield options, so he just runs to him. Yeah. Throws a down tilt on shield, and shields himself, and and then grabs uh, the opponent. Right. Wait that, for the reaction. Gets exactly, the punish. Exactly. I love it. Oh, the down oh, there might be oh, enough, but nah, 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 nah. This is Meta Knight we're talking about. We. Oh, not even barely. He comes back and actually okay. takes the stock of himself. Okay. For himself. And that's that. There's a pretty simple equation. Um, <laughs> if. If Dimensional Capes hit, Destiny wins. Yeah. If they don't, he loses. <laughs> that's a pretty that's simple. basically how that's it goes. Though. Yeah, that's <laughs> basically how it goes. So this game is starting off bad for Des uh, for Just We Shock. Mm, Got hit by the, the first yeah, yeah. Dimensional Cape, and Destiny is getting some percent here. Uh, now Just We Shock is kind of out of danger percent for those big combos. Oh, oh but that dash attack is so DI. strong. This is a low tier dash attack, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see how Just We Shock can find uh, a way if he can find a way to rack up that damage, and just like that, yeah. Uh, yeah, you would think this is a decent lead, but like 75%, we saw Shush, we should just do that in two Q follow-ups exactly. very quickly. Exactly. And, and he, he found the up tilt. He found the up tilt, let's see. Exactly. He shielded the down smash that uh, uh, Destiny used as a get-off move so many times, right? And that's that's adaptation right there. Uh, Joshua Shock is so good at up close uh, games. And just like that, putting Destiny again on his back foot, finding the 54%, and suddenly it's not looking too bad from Joshua Shock. Now, offstage game though can be very scary. Oh, good but stuff. Nice wait. Yeah, Finally yeah, yeah. gets back with the air dodge. That's what I meant. Like, oh, Joshua Shock had the patience 100%. That, oh, oh, cannot get it. Oh, such a good stuff, such a good spacing by Jesse Shark. But he's gonna take the bang hit of the down smash anyway. Destiny with a lead on that last game. Destiny in prime Off position semis. to move here into the top three of this tournament. And that's gonna be a down tilt into a grab. Jesse Shark trying to find a way to get that kill. Another grab. And now Destiny is at kill percent. Destiny cannot get hit by any back air. Yeah, he's fishing for them. He knows uh, wh what to do now. All right, neutral okay. out of shields. We talk about it. How just much a shock it? has some answers for the out of shield stuff, and what a precise grab again! He he was just out of the range of the dash attack, and it was ready for it. Yes, sir. And the next grab will also be it mm, for the out of shield. How much extra stuff. credit can Destiny get here before we are going really down to the wire to the very very last part of this? Oh, oh the ledge that ledge from, from classic That's an option smash that is not so valid anymore because you can DI that. Yeah, but but if when you, if, if you are not ready, yeah, and Kirby with that humongous back air mm. just gets you, and now mm, and now it's even. even. No, this is even. Now Jesse Shock has found a way to get the percent back, but the forward smash into a down air put Destiny in a good situation. Jesse Shock answering with some uh, aerials of his own, and Destiny nice. put him Destiny. off stage with, with a tornado. Completely new landing option. I haven't seen him use that before in the whole set. All right, ninety percent. Okay, the multi jabs, the multi jabs. Actually, yep, yep. Multi jabs off. Just shock as an answer. The dimensional cape is not going oh. to connect. I was the so scared end. after that dimensional cape. Oh yes, yes, He's yes. Low. yes. This is this is hard. This they is hard. They both make it back though. This is oh, oh, the dimensional, dimensional cape. cape. How it else could it end? Absolutely. How else could he end? It? Either he gets the dimensional cape <laughs> and kills. Or he tries to Dimensional Cape and Obviously. gets F Smash for it. Obviously. Those are the options. Two options. He picked the right one. Dimensional Cape connecting. And our Swiss champion here takes out Jesse Shock after losing him in the first set. Good stuff by Jesse Shock. Uh, this might be a bit unprofessional, but I want to say sorry to you because uh, it was kind of disrespecting. Hey, it's okay, uh, man. It's okay. Is it, is it really it. okay? Yeah, I'll okay. just say this. Thank you, bro. Thank no you. worries. Keep it up and make Switzerland proud. Yeah, I'm go right further, back. man. You're in top three now, but the tournament's not over. It is not. It is not. Until we, we have, have a winner here. Oh, man. I'm, I'm so looking forward to the rest of the game. I wanted to say uh, congratulations to Just Three Shark, though, for a fourth yeah. place in the with most Kirby. stacked... Yeah, with Kirby. The most stacked Swiss tournament ever.
ever. Like even in Smash 4, no other Swiss uh, tournament was that stacked, I think. So yeah, good, good stuff by uh, our Strasbourg player uh, coming out at f fourth place. And now we're going to have a losers finals between Ryuji and Destiny. Destiny uh, uh, really bring it, uh, bring it in. Oh, how, how do you even say it? Wait. <laughs> Br bring in it back from losers. Losing quite early to the Shushok. Like, yeah. uh, uh, that was quite the upset. And, and, and then and then all just of losers top eight right now. Sweep all still of in this. Absolutely. So we can definitely expect him to keep going. I would love to see him keep going. Yeah, of uh, course. You got to root for the Swiss boy. Absolutely. Let's hear it in the crowd for Destiny. How far can he go tonight? Today? Tonight. To whatever. <laughs> You're a clubber. You're such a clubber. <laughs> uh, well, but, but let's not count. It's dark in here, okay? Okay, that counts. <laughs> that counts. But let's not count out Ryuji just yet. Because yeah, Ryuji course. has had a hell of a run. Uh, taking out Severe Calamari, and I'm not even sure who who, uh, who he took out after Severe Calamari, right? But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he was seated like 12th in the tournament, and he's now sitting at a third place guarantee. So that's that's a hell of a Ike, if you ask me. That's a yeah. hell of a Ike. Yeah. Let's see how um, Destiny can deal with the nares that uh, Ryuji will throw at him. So I'll just pull up the bracket so we can see what the run uh, was. Why not? Yeah. Um, right. He started in top 32 by beating Deep Freeze. Oh, he beat Deep Freeze as well? And then he Jeez. beat Severe Calamari, and in winner semis he beat Shisui Shok. Jesus, yep. Yeah, okay. That's okay. a strong run. That's a strong run, yeah. He took the easy route, though, because uh, if you go through the losers in that kind of tournament... <laughs> it's a long route oh, yes. and <laughs> not any tiny bit less hard. <laughs> Our English is coming to an end. The tournament is coming to an end, but let's hang on just for a minute uh, more. Let's go to losers finals between Ryuji and My Insanity Destiny. We are here on Pokemon Stadium, Ike versus Meta Knight. Let's see who of those two players can take the edge on that first game. All right, Destiny finding the dash attack and a few RPS. Some more pressure. He, he's really pressing buttons, isn't he? Up and A. That's very <laughs> strong. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> lovely, lovely stuff. Technical he went for stuff. some up airs afterwards, the up tilt. And then he went to the classic Meta Knight stuff and went for dash attack. All right. Yeah, he's trying the same stuff as he's tried on, on, on Justice Shock, right? Trying to parry uh, yeah. the up B coming back and, and, and throw that down tilt. I'm pretty sure if it works on Ike, it might actually kill him every time he does it. But I'm That's not very, very convinced. Very possible. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not convinced it, it does because he's coming back very fast. Yeah. Ooh, okay. okay. Interesting. Okay. okay. This is something I know about Ryuji. Like, uh, he might look like the underdog at some point, but he's always analyzing, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Double mistake almost cost him in, uh, the stock. But anyway, I, I was saying, he's, he's always analyzing, and at some point, he just goes off, right? Yeah. And at some point, the dash attack connects, the, the, the forward tilt connects, and he takes the stock. Like, he's surgical. He's a surgical player. And Destiny, he's the button presser, and he's allowed to do it in that kind of matchup. The down smash at the edge will be enough to take uh, Ike's... What am I saying? Ike Hector, Ryuji's first stock. All right, yeah, exactly, oh, just like that. What a bait! Yeah. What a bait! Just coming in, going into that zone where uh, Destiny thinks he can dash attack, and, and the forward tilt will clearly take that stock. All right, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure any of his moves are fast enough to actually catch him, even with the pirate. Very well possible. Then again, this time I was facing the wrong way, so he could not actually down tilt because he would have had to turn around, which would, right. which would have been for sure too slow. Right, right. Ooh, this was, uh, I think that was prime mm. percent actually for the juggle, but he could not get it. And that's <laughs> that's somewhere I'm not sure this time he will want to hang out. Uh, no. That's, yeah, yeah. Because if you get hit by that OB, if you're getting, you're, you're getting cheesed. You're yeah. getting cheesed. You don't want to get cheesed. Nah. You want Destiny's cheese. the cheeser, usually. Yeah. Dimensional cape. <laughs> Dimensional cape. <laughs> Try to call it. <laughs> oh, Ooh, almost, almost gets the F-Smash. All right, Destiny using the Nair in order to get Ryuji out of him. They're just, oh! Oh, but he's going to be up. Yep, okay, yep, yep, they yep, they that's both gonna die. Be the almighty equalizer, as we call it. All right, all right, yeah, very patient stuff. Both of them just looking each other at the eye. They're trying to take their time. Uh, Ryuji finding good answers and already 32% with the parry up tilt as well. Uh, Ryuji really popping off at the moment. Like he, he's, he was looking like he, he was getting dominated the whole game and now Ryuji has got some stuff on his own. And just like that, he's got a 60% lead. Alright. Lean nice. shield pressure there by Destiny. But only gets a jab out of it in the end. Interesting tornado. Oh, I don't <laughs> understand that tornado actually. Might have been a misclick, might have been uh, some might stuff, have been a just like that, yep. 
Okay, okay. That side B looked uh, suspicious as well, but I guess it worked, so why not? He's, trying, he's really trying to go out there to get it, but Ryuji with the nice mix-ups on the recoveries. And the neutral Ooh. as you are pair, this is scary. This is ta uh, Pokemon Stadium. We are talking about low ceiling stuff and a uh, platform to help him out with that too, so be careful with that. Be careful. Oh, the back air connecting! Ryuji will take that first yes, game sir, for sure. That was actually very close. Mm. The back air almost did not kill. Yeah. Yeah, but it was. Ryuji knows his percents. Yeah. He knows his stuff, and 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 I I, I want to say that uh, I, I was talking about him being surgical. We haven't seen that bait in the whole game until yeah. he needed that start, right? Just going to him, baiting the uh, the spot dodge and going for the back air. He's such a surprising player. When you play against him, you can you can never feel comfortable. Never. And Ryuji show, showing showing us that uh, by taking a one zero lead over our Swiss champ. Yeah, Destiny for the next time in this tournament with his almost already back to the wall. He's been there before. Mm. He's been there before <laughs> one too many times in that tournament. This guy has nerves. Oh, yeah, the question really is when is it enough? When can he no longer take it? Take it? When will he drop out of this loser's bracket? Let's hope it's not too soon. He's got a loser's finals and a grand finals to win to make Switzerland proud. Let's see how it rolls on town and city this time. Second game of loser's finals. Oh, he's already put uh, Ryuji in a bad spot and... All right, all right, still pressing button, still very much on his face when he's uh, in these platforms, but he's just pulling back. When he sees that uh, Ryuji is using the get-off moves, he's just pulling back and punishing it afterwards. Clean stuff. Yeah, and he's starting off the game with some nice juggles. But yeah, sometimes it's kind of depressing to see how little damage Meta Knight actually does. <laughs> like, he had two or three extremely clean juggles and it was just 70%. Right, right, right. But also, the, the good thing about Meta Knight when he does that is that he puts his opponent in a very, very yeah. difficult position. And he's particularly good at exploiting that situation. So it's, it's kind of like if, if you would give him damage, it would be a, an overkill if you ask me. Anyway, yeah, he especially might with his ability to find kills out of nowhere sometimes with like, the... Yeah, yeah. With the dimensional cape, you mean? With the dimensional cape, with the ladders, <laughs> yeah, yeah, with yeah. the offstage tornado. Mm. Destiny is very glad this tree that but... No. No, 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 no. that's gonna be, not going to be enough. Thank God he fell out of that, otherwise he would have lost that stock. Right. Yuji now on the edge, trying to find the mix-up. He's, he's got no jump, but nice air dodge. Uh, the fort will be punished, though. Safe. Gets the shield. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up smash, that's clean. But of course, that up smash is not the most potent kill option. Only starts killing rather late. Right, good get up attack, but the dash attack coming from Ryuji just Ooh. as a surprise. I don't think I've seen him use it once in the set, but just now, almost taking a stock with it. Yeah, but it almost seemed like Destiny was ready for hit because he mm. got the good DI. Wow, what a nice jump! Good spacing over that. Um, Delicious space. jumping over like that F, F tilt. Right, now Destiny has to find the stock. Yep, yep, yep. Down Classic. smash. Classic Spot stuff. Down yep. smash. <laughs> Classic button pressing from Meta Knight. I love how all these guys press his buttons. Alright, look. We're coming back to a very late back game. Of course, Destiny finally finding an, uh, an opening. Another one, just like that, catching the landing. Oh. oh, for a second I thought he would go for ladder, but it just went for the damage. Got oh, the that's gonna be a suck. Yep, yep, yep. Too short of very, a side B. Yeah, very smart stuff by Destiny. He knew he had no jump left, so he just he just covered the edge with a uh, jab. He did not need a forward tilt or anything yeah. else. He just wanted to cover it. And that's going to cost uh, Ryuji a stock. And now Destiny is sitting in photo mode. Let's see if Ryuji can actually... Uh, like, uh, we haven't... Oh, that might be a stock. Oh no, my goodness. Okay, okay, just okay. a little bit too slow with the tornado. That would have been so sick with the hard read. Uh, just... Yeah, he's going to go low. He's chilling. I'm going down there. Right. Down there. Forward there. Almost. Yeah, that would have been good, but... Uh, I mean, excellent presence of mind of Ryuji. Just yeah. keeping his jump all the way. And, uh, and uh, understanding when Destiny was going for the cheese and just jumping out of it, right? Oh, that's gonna be oh. a tornado! Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing and is. Yeah, that's strong. just what I wanted to say. Even still, without that edge guard, he had still had such an, a huge lead. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That was a dominant and he game. Just that had a was dominant two stock. That was. That's the thing. Like, uh, Destiny is a master in a slow game, a slow-paced yeah. game when, where he can anal analyze you and just you know just. Chill out, chill back, and understand when he can throw the dash attacks. What you, what are your defensive options and stuff? He's so good at it, and it seems that Ryuji is trying to go for this kind of stuff too. Like he's good at it, but he's playing against the Meta Knight. So can you really 
Can you really do this kind of stuff against yeah. this kind of character? I'm not sure. I'm Especially not sure. with such a slow kind of wall character. Right. Against the character with the needle that is designed to penetrate that wall. <laughs> right. right. All right, let's go for that third game. Let's see if uh, Ryuji uh, is able to turn it up just a bit. Just a notch. All right, multi jab. That's going to be punished with a down throw to up air and a full jab. Another get off move. And yep, the cross up on that dash attack will allow him to get a little bit of mileage. Just like that, 36%. Multi jab on shield, Ryuji respecting it and punishing it with the up Yes. Mighty damage. Nice, that's Nietzsche's waited. Um, again, for the shield to become low enough so he could shield poke it with his Nair to make his landing safety. Okay, interesting. Okay. Air dodge. Oh, that's gonna be. A no. I really expected an op smash there. Yeah. He's just covering everything, right? But never mind. I guess uh, I guess forward is cool. Now, yeah, Destiny overshooting the dash attack in order to catch Ryuji's uh, run. Right there, there's gonna be a neutral lane too. No confirm, but 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 catching the landing of the platform. Destiny used the directional air dodge. Yeah, I was a little scared there. Wanted to get away, even though he was actually safe, which allowed Ryuji to find the punish. Oh, the dimensional! Oh, yes, I've kick. seen that before. Ooh. I know I, you can outspace that. I've seen I, it before. I had no idea. I had no, no idea. No, I saw Destiny do that before. Okay, this he is knows. such a game changer. This is yeah. absolutely a game changer. I think it's not easy to do because I've seen him try before in this set. Right. Uh, but I knew it was possible. Right. And if you can get it, like, if it doesn't have a double jump, that's, again, just like with the parry downfield, basically. Yeah, yeah. He's dead. All right, and now Ryuji. Once again, yeah, off stage. Yeah, as I said, it's not easy. And that's the thing, too. Like, if he, if he misses, then uh, he loses all that sled trap pressure. Yeah. So it's I understand. Always kind of a trade off. I understand him trying to go off stage, getting him just uh, some pressure, getting some damage in order to. Uh, Instead of going for the full thing, it's gonna be a dash attack into an RP. Obviously not killing, but that's that's sweet damage. I mean, I like it. A neutral air. What the mix up? The down smash has so much lag. Destiny is going to be able to run the whole stage and punish it. It's gonna be a down throw into no up air connecting, but the neutral air into back air might actually take the stock. Good DI by Destiny, allowing him to get back and dimensional. One cape. more high recovery. Yeah. I don't like yeah. it, man. Stop it, Destiny. <laughs> People are gonna catch on. I mean, it's, it's working. Gonna get it's working. For it. It's working. I just like that. It's working. You you can. It's it, it, stupid, but it works. It ain't stupid. All right, Ryuji now in a good position in order to find that kill. He's trying to get a jump, but just like I said, the dash attack just pops off sometimes. Just pops yeah. out and, and 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 gets a kill for Ryuji. Now let's see how he plans on surviving against Destiny because he's already off stage. He's her. He's at 153% and Destiny is getting more and more yes. accurate in those edge guards. Alright, let's see, let's see. Let's see if he can get away from that ledge trap. Destiny coming back this time with a uh, grab instead of a dash attack. Understanding he did not have the time to get that dash attack in. A neutral air. A dash attack, another one. Oh, it's catching the uh, the air dodge there. That's going to be an up air into an up B. And wow, Destiny has not taken a single percent yet. Yeah. He's playing very, very clean right now. Oh, but good stuff by Ryuji this time. Nice waiting patience. the air dodge. And now Ryuji is on the offensive. He wants stuff. Destiny with a clean, clean reversal of situation. And Ryuji went oh, too far. The unfortunate up ah, air there. Yeah. Is Destiny about to dance? Let's, let's watch. Let's watch. <laughs> not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not he yet. needs... Not yet. One more. One more, one more. But I, I, I feel to like. To move into grand finals. Right. But <laughs> right now it's looking convincing. Yeah. I'm I like not it. doubting my boy. He's not doubting himself either. We can see in his look, he's determined. He's convinced he can do it. And, uh, and yeah, let's see, man. I, I'm, I, I, do, I do feel like he's got in his hands. Like uh, this last talk was so convincing. It was yeah. not. I mean, the. the uh, Edge guards are getting more accurate, and the uh, on-ground game is getting much, much more accurate as well. Uh, the only answer I've seen from Ryuji is the answer on the get-off moves. But yes. all the rests has turned into uh, uh, Destiny's favor. So, yeah, let's see. This time on Smashville, a pick that I totally understand from Ryuji right there. You, uh, the, the middle platform is very good to use in order to get the ladders coming from... Uh, that situation there was actually incredibly dangerous for Ryuji. He could have died there if he didn't air dodge. 
um, because Meta Knight can just carry you off stage with down airs and up airs, and then the tornado, if you get the strong hit, that move kills. All right, Ryuji trying to get back that stage control, but Destiny understands that the middle of the, the you know, when you're underneath the platform, that's basically a legal house that you cannot penetrate. Yeah. And all the all, all the uppers, all the uppers yes, connecting. Sir. You have me too, oh, but, but Ike is heavy enough. He's so fast. Destiny makes oh. it back, and oh, yeah, that might be it. Oh, he's taking him with it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, what a, what a misplay by Destiny. Absolutely, very unfortunate. Absolutely. He should have known that I could not make it back. I can see why he tried to go for the forward there because he wanted to make just sure that Ike would not make it back. Um, hit him once more off stage, and of course, usually you can do that without a problem because them, those air dodges have such long lag. But it was just a little bit too slow. Had to drop his stock for it. Destiny playing the little house game once more. Oh, that's gonna be a jab lock into into nothing. Into okay. Watch it. Why not? F tilt and delayed F tilt too, so Ryuji could shield. Yeah, down throw into forward and what we're back to move. an even game. 0.5% differentiating those two players so far. Okay, Destiny using the top platform in order to get back. That's smart stuff. I like it. He knows stage control is paramount on Smashville. And you're not being not punished this time by Destiny. Didn't get uh, enough time to actually position himself. It's gonna be a no, no, no neutral air. I'm surprised. And he's fishing for it. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. Side B beating Tornado is a big deal as well. We haven't seen how these two things... Uh, I think I've seen it the other way around before, that Tornado beat the Side B actually. But so I, I was a little yeah. confused here. Right, but right. maybe that was because he was just still charging or... I, I don't think know so. why. I think so. Why? When it goes off, it beats most of the stuff. But now he might. beat it. It's just that, yeah. Maybe, it was maybe it's a spacing thing. Right, right, right. right. Fortunately for Ryuji, he's still living. It was sent the other way around and just like that, baiting a grab. Finding a back air, and now Ryuji is in the lead. Ryuji needs to find another game before being able to threaten <laughs> Destiny's oh tournament man. life. But Jesus Christ! Destiny with the classic Destiny. They Jeez. were just both standing in front of each other in neutral, and it was just like... Yeah. I activate my hidden trap card, Dimensional <laughs> Cave. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I mean, everybody loves it every time it hits, but uh, when it doesn't, it's painful, right? Yeah. It's, uh, it's just uh, he uses the he uses it in such a surprising manner that even at uh, at such a high level, when uh, players of uh, Ryuji's and Severe Calamari's caliber are yeah, also susceptible like to actually getting hit by those. I Let's also see. feel like he's using it a little less. And he's, used, he's got two very, very distinguished... distinguished There's going to be a dimensional keep. Ryuji without a jump off stage. Uh, and that's going to be a forward smash. Destiny, Destiny takes and it. And moves into grand Destiny finals. Destiny takes it 3-1 and moves on to, to see Alexiao in grand finals. All right, boy. All right. We finally have one Swiss boy to uh, defend them all. How do you even say that? He's still in there. He's still he's in still there. He's still hanging on. Jesus. That boy. Good stuff. To Ryuji getting that third place though, all the way from Salzburg, these guys took third and fourth place. Congratulations to them. And now let's see. You 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 know, I'm very excited to see that one because I think they played in Smash 4, right? Yeah. And yeah, and I was commentating. I, I was commentating those. I know okay. exactly what happened between them. Like the first time they played, it wasn't even fair. The Alexia would just destroy them, right? How and long ago was that? It was, it was most likely three years ago. It was like, yeah. So Reset 4 no, or no. before that? No, no, it was G4, G4 in, in Geneva. It was a small tournament in, uh, okay. in Geneva. It was maybe four years ago, right? And then then they met again, but at Geneva Gaming Convention, right? And uh, Destiny came with, he, he really came in with a game plan that was, I'm not going to let him download me. And yeah. it was just explosion after explosion. Like finding all the KO punches, finding all the down tilt up smashes that he could actually get in. And, and the first set was a 3-0 for Destiny. Yeah. Which was a huge surprise for everyone. Because everybody was expecting Elixir to adapt at some point. But looking at the stocks, it was a two-stock game. And ev every time one stock would go out from a KO punch, it just didn't give him time, right? And then they went to, I think, losers finals. Because Sodrek was uh, sitting in Grand yep. Finals. And it looked like Elixir was adapting. It went just a bit more in, in Elixir's favor in each game. He actually took two games, like it was 2-0, 2-2, and Destiny took it more. So let's see, let's see, because this time, 
Destiny cannot rely on such an explosive game plan, right? Yeah. He does not have that Little Mac anymore. You're not playing Little Mac against uh, Greninja in this game. I'm telling you, you're not okay. doing it, right? And uh, and uh, and and Elixiao has a lot of experience against uh, Wolf, right? Yes. So that's gonna and be an interesting gotta. one. Yeah. So you think we're gonna see the Meta Knight? No. No, I don't. No, no, I don't think so. No, what, he's what? definitely going to Wolf. Okay. okay. But, but Elixiao is ready. That's what I mean. Uh, I, I, I think. I think the matchup Meta Knight Greninja is not that bad, but. Uh, <laughs> he's lost a few times to me in that matchup, and then he just threw it up, right? So he's going to Wolf, which is obviously a tough matchup for Greninja as well. He's so he's very, very good uh, uh, controlling the aerial space just in front of his opponent, and with good out of shield options, uh, he's basically able to camp in shield and uh, disable most of the uh, scary tools from Greninja. But let's see how Alexiao from Team Supremacy fares in that matchup himself. Grand Finals of the reset number six, Alexia versus Destiny here at Interreg. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped yeah. to see what's going to happen. I'm so happy to have Destiny in the Grand Finals. I am too. Like I we saw too. him coming in into losers so early and now he's still here. Still uh, one hell of a force to reckon with. <laughs> but right. almost already loses his first stage there, uh, stock there. Makes it back with the wolf equivalent of the dimensional cape. Mm. I love that back here. I love that back here. I'm not sure how he found it, but oh, yeah, that's going to cast him. Not yeah. make it back. That's going to cast him as a stock, unfortunately for him. That's not uh, the clearest of decisions. Yeah, the neutral air in order to bait Destiny out of the shield and then the dash attack sweeping him right into that up smash. So much damage uh, for Ex Alexiao already. All right, let's see. Interesting the idea there. We're going down with the back air. Maybe he saw your set with Alexiao and saw that both of you could not tag those back airs. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, that's true. Right, Alexiao finding the forward air. Uh, Destiny really going out of the shield, which is something I haven't seen him do much. Alexiao is, is putting on some pressure, some obscure pressure on the boy. All right, so, oh, trying to get the out shield out of shield. I don't think the Optil will quite kill yet, though. Oh, oh what is our boy doing? What's going on? Oh, that's just starting off by throwing. Oh, One stock yeah, away, yeah. finally gets a jump read with the back air, gets the first stock, but that's a full stock lead for Elixiao. Yeah, there's gonna be a neutral air down tilt, more down tilts, and equalize just with a neutral air, just like that. <laughs> that's quite I think uh, everybody was surprised, and then he just decided to press a button, which worked out for him. Good stuff. Finding another neutral air into four there, some offstage pressure with Shurikens as well. Now the ledge trap situation. This is a hard one. Against Greninja, it's never hard. It's never easy to get off the edge. But good stuff by Destiny. Not only getting off the edge, but finding 80% for himself. Okay, the side B with uh, some uh, additional damage in order to get out of the edge. Let's see if he's able to get that stock uh, soon. Because if he doesn't, that's going to be a tough one. Oh, and that's going to be a shield poke. Shield poke with yeah, the up yeah, smash. Yeah. Last stock situation here. It is so good to shield poke. All right, let's see, let's see. Like now, now Alexiao knows Destiny is, uh, is, is, is shielding a lot, right? He yeah. does not want to get hit by this confirms, but from grabs, he does not get that much reward. So let's see what's the plan from Alexiao. Basically what he told me is that he wants him off stage and then, then we'll see. He just wants him off stage. And just like but that, finding the down tilt into forward there. Nice comeback by Destiny, to be honest, because uh, he's actually threw these two first stocks away yeah. too easily. But it's good but, to see uh, that he's still fighting. Um, but um, we can hope that he can continue the fight right, in right, the next right. games. Because otherwise, <laughs> seen, yeah, <laughs> beginning yeah. it looked like a wash. Yeah, it did, it did. From, but from what we're seeing, it really definitely looks lo doable, right? Yeah. So let's see. I see Alexiao sitting comfortable there with his uh, supremacy shirt. Why do they not use the chill as fuck gaming chairs? Why do they <laughs> use the little <laughs> folding like, chairs? You know, I don't I could, get it. I could, I could sit there for a whole week. I would be doing fine, right? These guys go for the plastic chairs. Why the? F like there were those big, nice chairs there, no. and they moved them away to sit Sma on that, the that's, folding that's chairs. That's when you 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 finally realize Smash Brothers isn't esports, right? <laughs> <laughs> it just isn't. It just, we cannot. You cannot even use the esports stuff. But let's get right to that second game. Into. Uh, into that second game, I mean, on Battlefield, which is a very good pick for um, for Destiny, right? Uh, I think this Ooh. I think this tool set is very hard for Greninja, because you're always getting into a uh, a platform stage, 
You're yeah. always getting into it. Like, uh, and, and oh, that might be oh, it. But no, he still okay. makes it back. Gets up smashed. And uh, the forward smash. Yep, yep, yep. Queen spacing there. Uh, yeah, Alex Realized Yao knows. He was coming it, down it, with the aerial. Absolutely. You have a good aerial. You're on a platform. You're coming down with a good aerial. Alex Yao knows it and just swept it out with a forward smash. Good stuff by Alex Yao now. Trying to find uh, extra mileage. Neutral air connecting into dash attack. No further compression though. It's gonna be a grab for sure. Yep, yep, yep. Alexio knows this kind of stuff. Nothing is obscure in this matchup. He's told me he's, uh, he's actually worked on that matchup quite a lot. Yeah, Wolf matchup, of course, in the current meta of Smash was one of the most important matchups to know. Uh, half the world plays Wolf, it feels like sometimes. Alexio relentless on that ledge trap. Trying to find yeah. the kill this time. Destiny not able to get away from there. And just, yeah, just getting the grabs. He's basically telling me, look, you, you gotta do that. <laughs> I can swallow if you do that. That's gonna be a four there yes, for sure. Sir. Just like that. Gets the second stock and another game, another three stock lead to one. And again, he finds the equalizer back there, just like the first game. Maybe this time he can put up a little bit more of a fight, a little bit of a bigger comeback, maybe even get a game finally. Be but Alexio is making yeah. it hard for him. Already starts with a cute combo again. Gets him off stage. All right, nice back air as well there. Let's put some more pressure. It's just, it's just extra damage, right? It yeah. does not even. He's not even trying to kill him. He's just taking all the damage he can. And he's trying for to go for the cheesy counter. Destiny knowing better, going for the grab there. And co nice conversion. Might actually be able to uh, get a stock if he gets a good tweet soon enough and get back into that game. But he needs he needs to take that stock though. Now he's back off stage. Oh, okay. okay. Alexio Ale just fell down with the forward air. Accidentally fast fell it. Giving Destiny a little bit more room to come back. Almost gets that down smash. Oh, what a confident grab yeah, as a punish. Yeah, yeah. Love it, I love it. And another one. And another he's really sending me a message. He, you know, I, I've been... Uh, He's, he was shouting at me like, "You haven't grabbed once when I went off stage, off of the sta stage." I mean, and now he's just going for the grab. Even though he could actually throw some stuff, he's just going for the grab. Yeah. Nice forward there. I think out of that nair, he could have actually side beat, but I'm not sure. Mm. I kind of want to see Wolves optimizing their combos into side beat on last stock. Right, and for the uh, viewers at home that are not aware or just joined, uh, we have a streamer that put a, didn't put the little L to uh, to uh, show that uh, Destiny is coming from losers. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. Misha, I was trying to tell you, you need the, the L for uh, Destiny so that we know he's coming from losers and everything is picobello, which means this is potentially the last game of the tournament, which would be a shame. I would love to see Destiny be able to bring it back. I think his wolf is strong enough. I think he... He definitely has enough stuff, but Alexiao so far is just playing so safe. He's yeah, and it's really just the start of the game. Alexiao just pulls ahead, and afterwards it goes more even, but he already has such a big lead yeah. that it doesn't really matter anymore, and that he can afford yeah. to just play defensively and yeah, kind of go just, bit by exactly. bit. Exactly, and at some point you're gonna get hit by a forward and he's gonna yeah. win. That, that's it, that's basically, that's a matchup 101. All right, so that's gonna be two down tilts into another dash attack. No up smash to follow up, but uh, the spot touch will allow him to get some more damage with a multi jab. But Three hits from Destiny and 41% are already on the poor Greninja thingy. Yeah, finally Destiny doesn't just get overrun in the beginning of the game, but he actually gets a little bit of a percent lead Ooh, here. Oh, and what a read! What Ooh. a read from him from Destiny, just running into him and this time uh, pulling the trigger of the forward smash and finding an early stock. This time this is a reversal of situation. Destiny is in the lead. Let's see how Alexia adapts. Yeah, this is how quickly a percent lead can turn into a stock lead. But of course Greninja has those options, those confirms. He doesn't need much and this game will be even again. So Destiny 100% needs those grabs, needs those landing aerials to get those grabs. To mm. get a little bit of extra credit before he drops his stock, or just not drop the stock at all, that's fine too with me. Alright, another Nair, he knows he can control. Ooh. Yeah, that, that buffering was looks look dangerous, right? <laughs> look dangerous. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's really try he's really fishing for the uh, for the smashes and he's he's getting such a lead on that game. Yeah, he's doing going for a very, very clean ledge trap here. 
Interesting, Interesting side beat, eh? He's really, he's really abusing also. Something I can, I know about the matchup. He's really abusing the thing you, 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 you just seen. The Nair in this matchup is a nightmare for uh, Greninja. Nightmare. He just, yeah, he just puts so much pressure, and you do not have a grab, a good grab, in order to yeah. punish it when he comes down. So this is, this is so hard. Greninja, I mean, Alexiao finally coming in with the four there, but he's got 155 percent at this point. Any move from even a move, grab, yeah, even grab will kill. So he really needs to get that safe damage going in, and just like that, two four, there's 32 percent. And the dash attack will attack. trade, and that's gonna be a first lead on uh, in that set for Destiny. And yeah, that was a little. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a bad trade yes. you can actually take. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the air dodge is buffers and air dodge afterwards. And out of nowhere, we're back to even. Yes, yes. That's yes. what Destiny didn't manage to do in the games when he was down. And that's that's so much damage already. All right, no resets of the situation from Alexiao. He could really have gotten uh, more damage if you ask me with more uppers. But resetting the situation is going in Destiny's favor right now. Forward smash on the shield, respected by Alexiao and Nair, just in order to uh, to catch uh, Alexiao. Another F smash. <laughs> it's Destiny on the brink of getting his first game. And another neutral there. He's just controlling the aerial space so well. Destiny really showing that he can adapt to an opponent of Alexiao Excalibur. Finally smash. finding one game. One game. And such a dominant game also, because he, he lost a, a Except stop. for that SD that was... And it wasn't... It, well, to be fair, it's, it's really not my SD. SD. Right, but he buffered an air dodge. That's the thing. If you if you uh, if you go for a back air, you need to take it, right? Or it yeah. trades, and then then you're in that situation. Option so coverage, boys. Press up B and air dodge at the same time, so it will buffer attack, but also the up B if you don't have to attack. Does it? Yeah, you have to press up B and then instantly Whoa. after um, the shield right, button. Right, right, right. Yeah, yes. But at, at this point, I think he wasn't expecting any hits that would allow him to up B, right? Yeah, but the trade and thing is, you don't lose anything by doing it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You yeah, can only sense, win. Makes sense. So now he knows this situation. He knows the interaction. How it yeah. goes with that back air against his up B. So maybe he's able to react to that one. Maybe he will take. Hopefully, he will take your advice. But uh, I'm, we're talking. We've we've talked for 10 seconds, and both of these guys are already going so hard. Jesus, one stock already almost gone. Yeah, Elixir really just needs so little to turn it into a combo, and his combos do so much damage. Love it. I love 91 percent. He just needs an air into forward air right now. Yeah, and Elixir now uh, he's taking he's taking a, a step back and going back in with a neutral air of his own in order to uh, deny the con uh, aerial control from uh, from from Destiny, right? And that's an uncharacteristic uh, thing. Uh, he should not have missed that forward yeah, air. Yeah, this is that was a I guaranteed can. kill. Absolutely. But I understand he was kind of scared though, because yeah, you don't want to go win up because Jesus the up smash is <laughs> way oh, too big. Oh, two misses, two misses that should have been kills from both of these players. Oh, but that's the clean shield poke with the back yep. air. Destiny finding the back air in there. That's gonna be a four there as well. We're back to even. Yeah, equalizing the game. <laughs> Just slap the frog. Two point five percent. I'll take them. <laughs> Destiny with a lead. Never mind. All right. Up throw, up uh, classic stuff from, uh, from. Oh, that's not that's not going to be uh, a good forward smash. I mean, it's going to be punished. Aerial control yeah, again I with see that neutral. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? It's it, it, it really very is. very oppressive against. Uh, no oh, attack coming from Destiny, attack. and potentially his last stock of the tournament. Yeah, he may have expected it to trade again. Mm, the, new, the dash attack into up smash is already giving him so much mileage. All right, a neutral, another one, and not even going for the follow-ups. He just wants to stay safe and to put some damage, right? He wants to hit those neutralers, and if he has some obvious stuff going, he will go for it. And if not, then yeah, let's reset. Let's see how you approach me. Yeah, I got. He's got time. Yeah, he's got six minutes on the clock. Come on, do something. And the neutraler wants more, finding a good trade by. Oh, for Catches Destiny! The and jump, now. no double jump. Yeah, this is a scary spot, but 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 Alexiao playing it safe, and the down smash will sweep yes, that stock. Right out of the screen. We're back on last stock. That's going to be neutral into an up throw, into an up air. 36%. Alexiao finding a way to reset the situation though. And Destiny this time coming back with an up and the forward smash also putting 80%. We're back to even percent. And now Destiny is in the lead. And now Alexiao is getting ledge trap. How can uh, Destiny get that last stock? The forward smash on the shield is not going to be enough. And that's going to be a down tilt. Two up smash. Alexiao is our reset number six winner. 
such. Yeah, I was just about to, about to say Destiny gets a lot of momentum here, but it always Jeez. needs so little. When you're at that percent, it needs nothing at the down tilt it is mm -hmm. and just to like finish that, this I tournament. I, I, this is a, a t um, how do you call it? It's just a good proof of Alexiao's presence of mind, right? Yeah. Just understanding that even though he got hit for 80 percent straight, he was losing every trade. He he kept his composure. And just just found the kill confirm when he had it. So very good stuff by Alexiao. Very nice stuff by uh, Destiny, obviously taking it all the way back. Actually getting one game and making him uh, sweat sweat quite a bit and taking that second place. Good stuff by our boy. Yeah. Anyway, concrete. thank you very much for watching. Uh, I think we're gonna have. Uh, yeah, um, I, I would like to uh, interview Alexia if, if you. If okay, you yeah, sure. Me. Yeah, I'm just gonna give quick shout outs to v -O -G w o g dot c h uh, for helping with uh, the yes, yes, yes. event. Um, yeah, so I'm going off now. Alex, see you guys. Thank you very much for the uh, commentary. It's always sweet to commentate with you. And now we're going to be joined by our reset number six champion, just to get a few impressions of Switzerland Smash by our champion himself. Let's. Uh, Please, montre nous ton anglais claqué, là, viens, viens, Oh yes, also, when uh, when we're done, if you guys like Smash Brothers, you might also like Guilty Gear. We're going for uh, Guilty Gear Top 8 right afterwards. But first, you'll need that. <laughs> you'll need that, yeah, just put that one, okay. Uh, thank you very much for coming to Switzerland, and congratulations on that win, Alexia. How thank do you feel about it? Thanks, man. I think, I think uh, at a... Uh, at the first game, um, uh, because I learned the matchup with Oje on all the other wolf in yes, uh, yes. in uh, in French, I have an uh, advantage. Right. But uh, Destiny really really adapt yeah. to to my play style, to my to my short up. So you, you mean he press Nair? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's wolf, so it does, it does, it does. Good stuff by Destiny. That was definitely a, a, a good, uh, an excellent comeback from him. Yeah. Um, but um, I would like to ask you also not only for the grand finals but for the tournament in general. The, uh, can can you tell us the impression? Uh, how did you like the resets uh, in general? I like I like um, I like to Switzerland people. All the all 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 those uh, people is so cool, so cool. I like right to my heart. I love it. No, no. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like, I like the um, the, the venue. Yeah, the yeah, the venue. The the venue. I like King. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So much set set up here. Yeah, so, so many. Yes, yes, yes. That's so many set set. Two 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 excellent things. I think, from my point, uh, mm. uh, you've pointed out is. Uh, the community is great. Yeah. The community is, is very kind, and we always have good time. And uh, these guys have been uh, hard read. I mean, have been uh, gathering stuff for mm. so so much time that they all. I think every each one of them has like 16 screens at <laughs> home, you know, and, and and also they have like six or seven setups on top of what the uh, the. Uh, players are bringing so mm. we really we, uh, on, on top of e-paradise i don't know if you guys have uh, have gone to e-paradise just yet if you guys are watching from switzerland and haven't gone to e-paradise i recommend you give it a look because mm. it's an excellent bar thank you yeah. very much for uh, gaming uh, bar. Uh, uh, g an excellent gaming bar yeah. thank you very much for uh, letting us having this amazing event but uh, yeah i don't want to uh, this is <laughs> i don't want to take uh, too much time uh, of you but i would mm. like to ask you it's one okay. last time one last thing. What, what did you think of the level of uh, Switzerland in comparison to, to, to the rest of uh, the mm. other countries in Europe? Maybe uh, you, you've seen. I think top top player here is so much better to to middle to to middle player here. Yeah. 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 There's a gap. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Is is a a, a, a really uh, a really uh, uh, so, uh, so much skill gap. Yeah. 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 And Destiny, Smurf, and Sever. Kakarami and Zudenka, but uh, Zudenka. Uh, yeah, Zudenka. <laughs> the heartbreaker <laughs> of the weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. This this four uh, player is so much better to the rest of the people here. We can see a few other players catching up for sure. Like uh, we've seen so many players grinding hard. Like mm. uh, they have like two or, two or th three weeklies, and and they attend every one of them. But mm. that's true. Uh, we've seen these kind of uh, our little group dominate a little bit more. So I would mm. really like to see. These guys getting uh, in European tournaments maybe and, and, and being able to get that training from Europe as well. But uh, how and did they fare against you? Uh, how did they fare? Like how did they do? It? These players that were on top a bit. How did they fare against you? Oh oh. oh I think 
I think um, uh, Switzerland has a lack a lack of um, of uh, matchup in uh, general. Matchup experience. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Y Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's that, that's why I'm doing good. Mm, yeah. <laughs> 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 and uh, no, I think um, uh, people here are ha 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 um, have um, uh, a lot of different plus tie, but. Uh, but uh, yeah, a lack of matchup. Just the matchup just experience just in general. Yeah, just All a right. lack of matchup. I, I, I think, and uh, maybe it can more travel. Travel, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I think we we are going to see uh, Switzerland travel a bit more. So yeah. let's see. And and what's your next uh, your next stop? Uh, maybe Blix uh, next week. Yes. Yes, and uh, Albion. Al Albion. Albion. Sure. Albion. Absolutely. Yeah. That's going to be my next stops as well. Yeah. Uh, we're going to join. Be, be joined by uh, a Swiss Esports League by Blix Esports next week for a tournament free of entrance, a thousand five hundred bucks on the line uh, with our uh, reset champion here, Alex Yao, as well. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Thank, thank you very you. much for uh, watching as well. We're gonna have Guilty Gear next, and uh, and well, yeah, yeah that's when when we're off. One last thing: press one if his his anglais is claqué, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and we are heading off, right? Thank you very much. Thank you, man. <laughs>